Tom Show. Think of me as a big rattan welcome mat laying in front of your front door and you step on my face as you come into the Bob and Tom house. Okay. Did any of those words mean anything? What, your face stepped on? Okay. Yeah, maybe I like that. Remember that guy who likes his testicles stepped on with his spiky heels? Remember that? Can you do that more than once? He did it all the time, man. And she was stomping on him. Okay, well, if so. And he was going, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a nice start. Uh, hey, Christy, how are you? Hey, Jay. Good, good. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold is here. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee. Uh, nothing could be sweeter than the side of my big Peter in the mall. <laughs> What? Well, you listen oh, yeah, really. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Take Chicken, a, that's, a, that's Tom, as you can tell. <laughs> take a break. The underside of your Peter? Is that what you're No, 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 no. The sight of his is what he said, I think. Let me tell you something. It was Al Jolson. I don't know who that was. You know, uh, you know when I go into my CBS, it's like a Norm going into Cheers. I'm, uh, they I'm love there. You there. I'm there they all the you. time. I, I'm a regular. They're, hey! The, uh, the big talk yesterday was... Uh, did Tom really mean to say the F word? Mm -hmm. didn't say or, the F word. I was just saying so. I beg your pardon. Yeah, the internet told me. Or was it a mistake that he said the just, F word? I was just scatting. Mm -hmm. uh, there were certain syllables that have a certain G or F sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you were doing. I just hope you never stop. That's what I hope. I have never left. So uh, Let's see. Uh, Chick McGee is at the uh, orangeinsouls.com sports desk. Yeah, pretty grim and over Technically, here. this is always the awkward beginning of the men's college basketball tournaments and they no longer call them the play-in games am i getting this right now the first four. First four, tom well, why don't they just stick with something and just stick with it it's probably every year it's a new can we you know i was uh cruising around this morning watching the early morning news on, on the tv and uh yeah, these people uh, on the they seem to get along they right. they talk to each other they they listen to what the other person's saying then they offer their thought mm -hmm. and then uh it, it just it, it was a pleasant conversation between these people a lot of fun anecdotes yes. Yes. shut up kids birthday yeah. party yeah. sure it was miserable <laughs> it was fraudulent it was it was boring and awful but there are people who like each other who work with it. can we have an honest conversation right now about a topic if i present a topic will yes you? we can what's yeah. the topic uh what do you like better the nfl playoffs or march madness Oh, well, that's like asking, do you like, do you like steak or lobster better? What a dumb topic. <laughs> See, that's the exact response I would ex expect. But really is stupid. I, I, uh, <laughs> or the NHL playoffs. Would I rather have dog crap on my shoe? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Or uh, you don't like either. Be pissed on uh, <laughs> my leg. Or have your dog. testicles stomp, stomped on. With <laughs> yeah, no. I that's, think I I'm, like I'm March Madness. That There's more of it. Yeah, the tournament's fun. It's fun. And it's like all day. It's fun. It's fun. I watch a second. You won't watch a second. I couldn't mean Give. either. I, it oh. means nothing to me. It's yeah. the only. Uh, yeah, I watch. Uh, I watch as many as I can. Yeah. And, but I don't. I'll, I'm a second half guy. I go for the second half. Sure. Nothing sure. wrong with that. Yeah. I, I get that. Every year we get the same news story. I think I gave it to you this morning. Yes, you? we've got it. I've got it. <laughs> it's fun. It's stupid. I don't believe a. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I disagree. Should we, should we get this doctor on the phone then? <laughs> it's the doctor. Well, yeah, Willie. What I'm talking about is every <laughs> year. Various clinics yeah. do a vasectomy special. Oh, I know about this story. Special Glad he gave you the story. Because uh, <laughs> it requires a lot of downtime. Yes. And so people can enjoy the downtime with March Madness. They can turn to sure. TNT or True TV. Why do you like this story, but you don't like the millions and billions of dollars lost every year by companies who, who uh, concentrate on March Madness and... Uh, because I don't believe productivity is down. That's that Christmas gray and 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 buzzkill company. Well, yeah. now pro productivity would have to be down if you believe this vasectomy story. Yes, because if yes. all these men are getting vasectomies, they're not going to work. It's, one not, verifies the it's, other. Exactly. It's not like it's even one. You're a fraud. It's not like it's one percent of the workforce. It's just you know a few thousand people maybe across the country. They, a thousand. A, a thousand men are getting vasectomies <laughs> sometime during March Madness, as opposed to the nine hundred ninety nine that are getting them not during March. Madness. Right. I'm just saying there are certain clinics that offer a special, Josh. You're out of order. Uh, oh, so is it the no. special or is it March Madness that... Um... Well, they offer the special because that way these gents can go home. Yeah, I bet and... if they offer the special in August, 
More people would yeah. go in August. It's a preseason but football. But they can't go home and ice their balls and watch um, whatever is on it. Uh, watch baseball. It's just there's a sure. there's, there are games all day long, yep. almost every day, especially in the beginning. So. You know, I'm uh, I'm 65 years old, and I've seen a lot over my uh, of my lifetime, mm -hmm. but I will never forget the sight of Bob getting a vasectomy <laughs> right there uh, in yeah. the doctor's office. Me and you, Tom, we did always, that on the air, did it, we? It's yeah. kind of like. Um, <laughs> Being in the World War One in the trenches, <laughs> man. All I remember is the little bit of dialogue. So Willie, I want you to picture this. <laughs> Bob is lying on top of the operating table. The yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> laying there holding the mic with the his physician, pants down. Of course, physician comes in. We didn't he have swim fins on or something? Some gag. Oh, he had a, a, a dick for a nose. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> And he's, he was a, a fine, yeah. oh. a fine qualified physician. He, he was a card. Yeah. The, at the beginning of the procedure, they have to do an injection into mm -hmm. the um, mm -hmm. uh, area of the the sacular area, I believe they call it. Possibly and, the and, only and, uncomfortable and, of the whole it's, thing. It's the only, yeah. And, and the, the doctor said uh, to, to Bob here to feel a small prick. I said, so are you, Doc. <laughs> and that's the kind of quality you have. <laughs> <laughs> but then the operation began, and Bob's scrotum went from a pumpkin <laughs> to a golf ball. It, 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 it was like, like on its own. You, you know, guys the, watched this happen? Yeah, we were there. You know those sea anemone things you see in the movies where they, 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 they're they underwater and you see that, that <laughs> thing that goes from the size of a big brain to a golf ball? Sure. Yeah, yeah that's oh, yeah. what happens. What wacky hospital lets you guys in? Oh, this was a different yeah. time, my friend. <laughs> they just let you guys in with your microphones to do all yes. your radio tricks. Well, that was the, the, the Hippish yes. Mippa Healthcare uh, Hip organization. Yeah, Hippish <laughs> Mippa. <laughs> Slash and cut. Remember those guys? Yeah, they were great. The point is, th th there are some of these places doing these vasectomy things, and uh, it's kind of fun. Oh, oh now it's gone from uh, uh, how, some of these places. Well, not... I'm just saying, it's, it's an, what is it, Associated Press news story I sent you over there? I don't think, it, it might have been on the Worldwide Newswire. I don't know. <laughs> I don't mess with the Worldwide Newswire. Well, the point is, uh, March official. Madness is here, and we do have our thing going on. You can make your picks. It's our Bob and Tom Show Basketball Mayhem Contest. And it is mayhem. And you're shot at a million bucks. Uh, perfect bracket, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tough call. I was trying to help my 10-year-old uh, do that last night and then explain to her that Odds are, after the first round, things aren't going to be looking real good. Fast forward 25 years down the line, she's <laughs> <laughs> laying in an alley, oh. <laughs> lost all her money from gambling, oh. just hooked, oh. just, oh. No, just. Uh, but it's fun. No, the thing you're talking about. Dad said it was fun. This, whatever, this, there's some uh, accounting firm or something. It's like Christmas Gray and Buzzkill. La or something. And they always go, every year, billions of dollars in productivity are lost because blah, blah, blah. It's the same story as millions of people are getting vasectomies. It's, no. I don't see the, the difference. No, the difference is it's nice to have people at work having a little camaraderie. I knew we the could. Great companies have people that enjoy being there. It's not like they're uh, time to get have the nice, proles in line for today's have a nice conversation. factory <laughs> work. Have a little fun. Watch a little all TV. All right, then take let's all go watch football or basketball today. I don't know what game's on today. Well, uh, tonight, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, Thursday, Thursday, no, Thursday at noon. They're no starts. longer called the play-in games. Busy doing anything else. The first four. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You watch, uh, you just watch, uh, well, you won't watch the Blues this year. They're not going to make the playoffs, right? The NHL. They're not. Oh, I still watch. And then I watch, yeah, uh, yeah I'll watch uh, some okay. some playoff hockey and baseball. And, and I, right. I do like the NFL playoffs for the most yeah, part. Yeah, the NFL playoffs is, uh, it can be argued, that lasts for a month. I mean, that you know, as, as the March Madness lasts for a while. But again, March Madness takes place during the day primarily, and there's a lot of games. That is on. cool. That is the cool part. It's fun. Yeah. And everybody gets, even people who don't care about college basketball, so they kind of take an interest in it. Wasn't there, who was it last year? Was it a couple years ago, the big, the famous nun? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sister yeah. Jean. She's still alive. Yeah. Sister Jean's still Apollo. alive. She was on a private jet the other day. Apollo. They were sending her some game. It was nice. I'm oh, like, no kidding. Yeah. She was on a private jet. Yes. Jesus Christ, it's paying well. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, yesterday's show, there were... Uh, many problems. Yes, explain to your son what happened yesterday. Well, I heard I you said the F word, Dad. I yeah. did not. I was plain scanning. Plain is plain as <laughs> I, I was, because I, I, I couldn't remember the lyrics to, um... So he said... <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about those ice cream trucks when you were a kid. Did, did you, we had one come by our house when you were a kid. Sure, yeah. Everybody. Got the SpongeBob, got the Spider-Man with the gumball eyes. Oh, they had the gate code? Ice cream, man. <laughs> <laughs> the creamy, creamy, chocolate thing you get from Mr. Dog. 
Hold it, is... Mr. Softy. Where's your gate code? Yeah. You don't get in this neighborhood. <laughs> I was trying to remember what song that they played, which I think is usually... Let's like, not do it again. Like Pop Goes the Weasel. You're or going to mess up again. Oh, but yeah. I couldn't remember. It was, I think, was it like the monkey scraped the laundry bush? Laundry bush, yeah. Or something. I was, and and I was trying to called... just mumble some syllables. And, and that's what your mother called the, uh, the downstairs maid. <laughs> <laughs> laundry bush, get, get in here. Get this laundry done. Those are different times. Oh, my mother wow. did all of her own laundry. Uh, but the, uh, the larger point here is, um, <laughs> of course, you we were also discussing a, a critter. This is, I, this is just fascinating. Uh, do you know? Are you familiar with the the Jesus Christ lizard? Uh, I'm, I'm not. Um, you've probably seen it in a some kind of a video. It's a uh, Josh help it's me. Kind it's, of a little bitty lizard, but it walks on water. Huh? It's really cool. Very cool. Yeah, and unfortunately, there it's it's an invasive species in, in Florida. Florida, yeah, they're trying to get rid of it. It's one of those things where they think people got them as pets because they're so cool, then they let them go, and all of a sudden they're a problem. They don't have a proper predator or whatever. Yeah, and they feed on the native wildlife and could possibly harbor mosquito-borne diseases. And the Jesus lizard lizard is slowly turning all the bodies of water into wine. Oh, Isn't that something? Yeah, that, was fascinating. that would be great. Yeah. That's the ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, Good that's, for us. That was how, a lot funnier in my head. Yeah. I, like uh, <laughs> I was just having a problem. I was trying to remember various aspects of uh, the Jesus story with Easter approaching, and uh, I... Uh, yeah, I, I made a, a tactical error with respect to the uh, oh the Pontius Pilate bit. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I thought that uh, uh, Pontius Pilate was at the Last Supper. He was not. Yeah, I thought, it yeah. turns out they couldn't oh. get couldn't get him a table. <laughs> That's how crowded it was that mm -hmm. night. Oh, busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, so um, <laughs> all you can eat uh, fish and loaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All you can eat. So sorry. Uh, we'll try to make some corrections. Think Jesus there. walked in and said, "Can we get some wings over here?" <laughs> well, that's that's the, when we come back. That's the main story I want to read to Willie. What? This, I have. I had a guy come up to me yesterday. <laughs> Is this the buffalo chicken? Yes, buffalo a guy came have... up to me yesterday. I was grabbing some iced tea. This guy comes up and goes off on me. Yeah, because of this him. buffalo buffalo wings. Thing. I have that. Huh. We'll get yeah. to that coming up. Speaking of great food, though. Hello Fresh knows that your taste buds may be calling you up on your phone, eventually going. All right. We've had it. We're tired of your cooking. We're tired of the same restaurants. Hello Fresh, what they do, it's kind of a kick in the rear when it comes to great eating. Hello Fresh does the shopping. Check. That takes a lot of the time that you get back. Plus, they shop for great fresh food, and they shop in bulk so you save money. Then they send you the food. Oh, by the way, they've done all the measuring and give you the recipe cards. So you can make cool stuff like the dietitian win recipes, each under 700 calories, made with less sodium. Stuff like, um, how about this? How about the one-pot pork and black bean chili or the creamy Dijon dill chicken? That sounds great even at this early hour of the day. By the way, 30 grams or more of protein in those. So um, HelloFresh has all kinds of great food. And uh, you get the box, put it together, have some fun. It's great for date night, cooking together or cooking with the kids. But you're talking about great fresh ingredients and great food. Willie, what you got over there? Check out the sesame soy pork bowls with chili mayo, cilantro, and crispy onions. HelloFresh sends you 10 ingredients. Put those together in four easy steps. In 25 minutes, you have this delicious pork bowl that you made at home with help from HelloFresh. Remember, you don't have to go to the grocery store. You're going to be a great chef. It's really good for your uh, cooking skills. Have some fun. Sign up today, and by the way, this is their best offer. Listen to this, 60% off plus free shipping. When's the last time you got free shipping from anybody? Well, you're going to get it today. Free shipping with the code BTSHOW60, like Bob Tom Show 60. BTSHOW60, and once again, it's HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW60. Then you'll need the code again as you proceed. BTSHOW60, HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW60. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Coming up, we're going to review this uh, tactical problem with chicken wings. Uh, plus, we may have to go back to uh, growers versus showers and find out what that's all about. We do have um, Aaron Rodgers back in sports. Oh, this guy is and, really uh, irritating <laughs> old-time fo <laughs> footballers. Here's who I want on my team <laughs> oh. if I decide to play. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Plus, we have the worst idea in the history of popsicles coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom, all the time, in your ear. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom News Update. Legislation to legalize recreational marijuana for adults in Minnesota underwent a major rewrite yesterday with the addition of new language to regulate and protect the state's industry in low-potency edibles and drinkables. Low-potency products containing THC derived from industrial hemp instead of full-strength cannabis 
have been legal in Minnesota since last year. Good news for the more than 8 million Americans who use insulin. Another major maker has promised steep price cuts as pressure grows on drug makers and insurers trim the cost of medication that millions of us need to survive. Nova Nordisk says it will slash some of the U.S. insulin prices up to 75 percent next year. That announcement comes two weeks after rival Eli Lilly said it will drop some of its prices by 70 percent or more later this year. And Facebook parent Meta is slashing 10,000 jobs, about as many as the social media company announced late last year in its first round of cuts. Uncertainty about the global economy continues to hit the technology sector particularly hard. CEO Mark Zuckerberg calls the cuts tough, but says there's no way around it. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Looking to buy a new car, but the looking part is getting old hat? Well, maybe you need to try shopping at Bob Bile Motors. Bob Bile Motors. Hi. Just stop into Bob Bile Motors and I'll show you my... Take a test drive and I'll also let you see my... That's Bob Bile Motors. And hey guys, during Bob Bile's celebration bonanza days, if you buy a car from Bob Bile Motors, oh, no. I'll not only show you my and my I'll let you in the and after that, I'll your in the Is that even possible? It is at Bob Bile Motors. Why the hell shop anywhere else? Oh, somebody get me a towel. Due to pending litigation, Bob Bile Motors is suspending free hot dog Fridays. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. When you were little, did you think Pontius Pilate drove an airplane? <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, okay, it would be <laughs> flu. <laughs> and yes. Drove an airplane. You could always tell who he is at the Last Supper because he's got that little aviator thing with the straps and the guns. Pontius Pilate was not at the was Last, not at the last, last supper. supper. And you want to teach us about yeah. this? Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Why well, did he miss stay, it? <laughs> stay in church. How did he miss it? He wasn't invited. He sent someone instead. <laughs> he was on the other team. Yeah. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. The minivan hearse thing, have you seen this? No. Was that for dead soccer moms? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. The funeral homes that have the minivans that they... That's very funny. <laughs> oh, that's have you seen that? that? The minivans well, that home. they've put those, you know, the fancy scroll work thing they put oh, on the sides. God. Yes, I'm not making this up. And they're like the big town and country vans. Well, I didn't want to die before, but now I really don't want to die. <laughs> it's really God, disturbing. It's... I just had this discussion yesterday with one of my You're gonna sons. You're going to be dead, honey. You won't know. I know, but the whole minivan thing, I... The bumper stickers on that'll be horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. my orphan child is an honor student. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done. Uh -huh. Scott Dunn, ladies. Bob and Tom, twenty four seven, not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom, twenty four seven. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. <laughs> Most of us have had pretty nice lives, and if we were to sing the blues about our life, it wouldn't be very bluesy, now would it? It goes something like this. I've got a buttload of money. <laughs> I've never wanted a single thing in my entire life. Oh, my goodness, I'm hurting. Can you feel my pain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Went to an Ivy League college, and my parents paid for the whole damn thing. <laughs> I drive a Beamer, and I got a completely faithful wife. She knows what side of the bread is buttered on because she's always been a gold-digging whore. <laughs> I got a full dental plan. Mutual funds out my ass. I don't give a crap about the homeless because they don't live in my neighborhood. Now, do they? It's a gated community. I think not. Uh, That's not the blues. So what I did. Yes. Well, internet porn. Oh. Oh, ah, well, there's okay. photography. You know, people don't, go, yeah, photography. Mm -hmm. people don't go to porn shops anymore. No? 
you know, because of the internet. Oh, that's true. But I think you miss out on the social aspect. <laughs> Is there a social aspect to that? Yeah, well, you avoid eye contact. Uh -huh. Try to hide your titles. <laughs> Tranny. Oh, no, I was working on my car. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, though, I was watching gay porn. Uh-oh. No, wait, I'm sorry. I was watching pro wrestling. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie, Willie Griswold is Good over morning. there. Willie. <laughs> I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Uh, the Chickster is at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. Real quick, I want to mention something. A good friend of the show is doing a special benefit project tonight near Evansville, Indiana, in Friedman Park. As I understand it, technically it's in a place called Newburgh, Indiana. And um, I, I was stunned to find out the entertainment for tonight's event is Pat Godwin himself. Oh. And it's a benefit for animals in the animal shelter there. So that's a great thing. If you are anywhere near there and don't go, uh, you're going to be on my list. Oh, really? What it's list gonna, is that? Uh, you know, I, uh, Pat, the, the S list. I don't Pat know. Godwin's Ooh. been looking forward to this for a couple of weeks now. He was telling me all about it. Yeah. Oh, it's it's going to be great, though. It, Congratulations, yeah. Pat. Cool. Helping out the doggies and kitties. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's oh, nice, Pat. Thank you very much. That's, why, that's a, a big fan of ours who has a, a great uh, place down there. So uh, congratulations to you, Pat, for being part of that. What do you mean, like a great house? Or? Uh, he has a furniture store that he turns into a comedy club occasionally. It's one of those oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love cool. that guy. It's kind Pat of a cool that. thing. About, one of the things that's happening right now in the world of comedy is... Um, there are places that that aren't doing comedy five, six nights a week. They have another function, then they bring in comedians, and it's a great thing. It's a great thing. And then speaking of comedians and doing it in places you don't usually see it, Bert Kreischer is going to be our guest later on this morning. He has a couple tours going. He's got a movie coming out. He's got a comedy festival that's going to be doing shows in stadiums, yeah. minor league stadiums. So should, we will have a good chat with Bert coming up a little bit later on this morning. Also, Allie Breen, fresh from her television appearance. She was on, um, what is it, Doug, uh, Gut... Kennedy. 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 She was on Gutfeld the other night. Yeah, she was. Ago. Yeah. Uh, in any event, we'll talk with Allie Breen for sexy time. But uh, right now, we... I have, can't help but notice that... Um, I think uh, with the time change, uh, are, are you having, uh, Josh, are you uh, doing okay? I mean, you, you seem out of sorts a little bit. You seem... Uh Oh, uh, no, no, everything's good. Everything's fine? Yeah. Okay. I'm a little okay. quiet. You're, yeah, I know well, you're, you're never okay, time, though, and you're not living in change, your own house. The time change has kicked my ass. I yeah, me too. And you really? know, I know you fidget. I know you, I love it. <laughs> I love you. But if you don't start fidgeting with something besides those sugar packets, and I am going to... And I saw you fill up your cup last... I know, he just filled it up. Well, no, it's like a Morocco to you, my girlfriend. <laughs> it's taken over his life. It's, an, it's, Tom, it's annoying. It yeah. is so an, I know it's a fidgeting thing. And the, the more Can that he takes get, it... Like a double pencil, eraser pencil, like Chick has, and fidget with that, or well, I'm fidgeting anything. right now. I'm fidgeting right now with my double eraser pencil. Can you hear it? No. no. I'm fidgeting right now with something. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, could be sweeter than the side of my big Peter in the morning. Where did that song come from? Oh, I just invented it. <laughs> when you're tired, you get way weirder and creepier. Yeah. It's kind of fun. You know? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a big fan of daylight savings time. It just in the transition, it just kills me. I yeah, can't get to some, sleep, then I worry about waking up. And someone said that to me yesterday, too. It does affect a lot of people. I had a conversation yeah. with my dogs yesterday. They don't get it. Yeah. Oh, yes, so, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You want to come over and talk to them? <laughs> making Just all tell them to get up and go outside. Come on, let's go. You come over and tell them. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We have a Chick McGee at the orangeinsoles.com. You know, my golden, desk. though, she's, uh, let's see, she's going to be 10. Oh. And she, <laughs> just, okay, let's go outside. She just lays there and goes, no, I'm yeah. not <laughs> I can hold it. <laughs> However, she gets away with it because she is the queen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Queen, queen monk. Yeah, where, where, I'm, where I'm living right now, there are a lot of throw rugs. Yeah. Which are very high on my list of things I hate. And of course, <laughs> the. It's only a matter of time before I got two words for you, Willie. Broken hip, right there. <laughs> yeah. The dogs, they hear the That's rustling the of food time. They come sprinting around the corner every day. Yes. They know this is going to happen, but they still keep doing it. They hit the throw rugs and go flying into the door. 
day after day. After. You'd, you'd think they're supposed to be smart. I think they'd go, perhaps we should pace ourselves. Right. Thus, we will not glide into the door. But no. <laughs> Maybe when they're 10, like your dog, Chicks. At least they're not peeing on them and you have to wash them every day. For the most part. Oh. Golden, golden Retrievers <laughs> are the stupidest, smartest dogs on face of the earth. Absolutely. Ever see a dog trip upstairs? <laughs> Mine does. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're all hard. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, listen. <laughs> yeah. um, I love you, though. Coming up, we have uh, a, a guy biting the, another guy's finger off in West uh, Virginia. But deserved first, it. But first, what do we have over there? NCAA started last night with what they're calling the first four at beautiful UD Arena in Dayton, Ohio. Montgomery County, everybody. Yeah, man. Miami Valley. Oh, yeah. Jamarius Burton made a go-ahead jumper with 10 seconds left, and Pitt edged Mississippi State 60-59. to 59. Back and forth, first four game featured 21 lead changes, Tom. That's why they love college basketball. This is the kind of thing you're going to get on. What's the guy's ball. first name? Jamarius. What a great name. J-A-M-A. That's for so, so poetic. Well, alas, poor Jamarius. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Sounds, it sounds really nice. I knew him well. <laughs> McGee, uh, of not. all days on March 15th. Willie, oh, yeah. Willie Shakes. What's March 15th? What's oh, March 15th? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's March. March. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. I, I just know it's somewhere on Broadway. It's a what movie does that with mean? George Clooney and Ryan Gosling. And Josh, do you know what the Ides of March means? Yeah, it's from Caesar. Yeah. Uh, it was a, a, it's a, it's a day. Is it a day or a, a couple a weeks? A soothsayer suggested, hey, beware the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. Indeed, he was sure you know, uh, assassinated. But I mean, are there Ides every month? I don't, I don't know if like See, April 5th, if the ta if tax day is the Ides of the Ides April. Is the Ides of April? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. A, less, a lesser known Ides. <laughs> Here's the thing, and I think Josh can back me up on this. See, Caesar was an unreasonable ruler who uh, uh, just was, uh, right, especially toward the end, mm -hmm. kind of losing his mind mm -hmm. and, and just blurting out curse words every now and then. And he really didn't know the difference between reality and fantasy. So, Et tu, McGee? So, they, <laughs> so behind the scenes, they said, we got to get rid of this guy. Yeah, so, all right. Um, I don't know if you, anybody can learn from that. <laughs> they tried to get his kid in on it for a little while. Oh, that yeah. was interesting. Uh, Tom has his hand raised. Yes, yes Tom. Tom. Ace, I know that you're doing nothing but eating pizza. Uh, you're eating nothing but pizza, I should say, during the month of March. Mm -hmm. My One of my little girls every night. <laughs> Did Ace, Ace just eat pizza again today? Yes, Vin, he just ate pizza. I assume that today, I, uh, at some point, you're going to get something from Little Caesars in honor of the Ides of March. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. I'm going to get bowling alley pizza. Oh, that's you right. get bowling alley bowling pizza? Day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to the bowling alley? If you are, I'm going. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys are going bowling today? I was. Every Wednesday. Where no, are no, you? That'll no, be fun. Um, so I can't make it. i got a medical issue. Um, <laughs> Nobody invited you. <laughs> okay, it's worthless. It, they, yeah, it's wasted just, words. Just guys, means the day falling roughly in the middle of each month. Sometimes oh. it's the 13th. Sometimes it's the 15th. Okay. Huh. So the Ides, there, there's a floating Ides out there? Yeah, it says the 15th day of March, May, July, and October, and no. the 13th of the other months. Oh. The, hmm. the Ides of March... Uh, did the fabulous song Vehicle, okay? Oh, they sure did. I don't know what you guys are talking that's about. That's a great song. It's an okay song? No, that's a great song. But a kidnapper. Yeah. Get in my vehicle, baby. Uh, take you anywhere you want to go. Let me put you in the basement. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the other first four game, uh, Tom, last night, Isaac Mushilla had 15 <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Jamarius Burton yes. and Isaac Mashilla. <laughs> 15 points, 12 rebounds. Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Christi? Yes. Held Bo off. Body of Christ. Held off Southeast <laughs> That's Missouri what it means. State. Sure. Yes. Christy, why are you looking at me? I'm not. I mean, if it was named Body of Christ Texas, that'd be a little on the nose, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, are you talking about the border? And, uh, oh, no, I'm just saying it'd be elective. Uh, here we go. This is what you were talking about. Yeah, we listened to some blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, we did. Oh, boy, did. So we tried to get get the song to them, but they wouldn't do it. So. And we love stereo. Hey, well, I'm a friend of stranger in the black sedan. I want you to hop inside my car. I think this is better than that. Just got the candy on the David Clayton Thomas and all his crap. I, I, can say I think it's better than Blood, Sweat, and Tears, too. I beg your pardons? I mean, Al Cooper's the man, but... <laughs> you don't like Blood, Sweat, and Tears? They're weird. I, I like that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> particularly care. They're weird. They kind of don't know... I yeah. love the horn stuff, I admit. Yeah. That. 
They sound, they're very unique. Mm -hmm. But the Eyes of March, yeah, the one hit wonder, but what a great song. Philadelphia band, baby. baby. Are yeah, they really? Did yeah. you ever see them? No. No. Mm. They were around a lot, though. Hey, there goes Eyes of March. Hey, who's that driving the black sedan? <laughs> who's got the candy, a friendly stranger? I'm going to run in here, 7 uh, Eleven, uh, get me a big gulp. Oh, it's the Eyes of March. <laughs> <laughs> they're playing pinball. Yeah. They're, they're working behind the, the counter, probably. <laughs> Love your song. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. A nice yeah, just fun. Yeah. Wasn't that guy in here that sang that song? No, you're thinking of the guy from Peter Survivor. Boy. Peter, oh. Peter Boy? Tim Cavanaugh knows there. that guy, though. I thought oh. you were... Oh, yeah, that's right. Tim Cavanaugh has a version of that. Jim Peterick had something to do with that song. Yeah. Oh, did yeah, he write that? Yeah, there was something about yeah, it, because I remember him you being... Remember, you remember Jim Peter Peterick and Underside by Giant Peter. <laughs> what? It's a theme today. <laughs> I you started get, this. I was trying to get in on the fun. <laughs> yeah. You were looking at the side. Was that an impression of me singing? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> sound like, hey, they all like, can't be winners over here, okay? Sound like Red Skelton. Sometimes yeah, you jump off. You're done. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Jackie. Please. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you guys are bad. Save me. It's a real mess. <laughs> and now here's Pat Goblin with a new song. I could do this song if you'd like. What song do you Is have? Is it a pizza song? I got a pizza song. Song. I got the uh, Al Jolson uh, in the morning song, <laughs> if oh, you'd like. You? Uh, oh, sure. Let's hear that. We'll hear that one. Does that need context? Uh, it's about the tainting phenomenon. Um, okay. This is a song about... Um Sunning your taint. Sunning the taint. Oh, this yeah. was a big. This was one of those stupid internet things where. Yeah, they said. What's the idea? You're supposed to get vitamin D or something. Yeah, in your vitamin scrotum. D down there. Mm-hmm. And, and Hollywood people were lying in the beach with their butts heard, in the uh, air. I've heard. I've heard. I think eagled. they were actually on the beach. I think they were doing it in the privacy of saliva. Their own. Actually, in the back. Uh, helps. Yard. There. Oh. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I'm a big yeah. proponent of that. Yeah. Okay, but uh, the, the point is, to, that a good uh, as I recall, there was a, 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 a quality physician said, do not no, get excess do sun in your groin area and your underside because it's uh, there's possible skin cancer, but not to mention getting badly burned down there. And you have a tri tribute, Pat? Nothing could be finer than some sun on your vagina in the morning. My nothing could be sweeter. Then a tan under your pita in the morning. Where the sun don't normally shine between the beehole and the noddies. <laughs> Get some rays on that behind. Oh, you trendy and hot as. Man, you gotta see them tanning their perineum in the morning. <laughs> Legs up in the air with no panties on down there makes me on oh, yeah. air. Oh, ladies, tan your tits. If only for a day. And that big vitamin D energy is coming your way. And oh, nothing could be finer than some sun in your vagina in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Once again, doctors ask you to avoid getting sun in those affected areas. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, once again, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Pat Godwin tonight doing a special benefit, be benefit, excuse me, at a place called Friedman Park. Am I getting this right, Pat? In in is it Newburgh, Indiana? Yeah, it's called Tri-State Top Comic. It's like a competition, and all the money goes to the Friedman Dog Park there, Brandon's oh, Dog great. Park. Yeah. Now, are are you in competition? No, 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 no. I'm just hosting it. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of time. Okay. All right. Yeah. You taking requests? Sure. Okay, good. We're gonna a little Q&A. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, that's oh, nice. Nice. You're going to do a Q&A. Nice. He's the greatest. That's what I get all the time. I have a question for yes, you, sir. Pat. How dare you? Uh, oh. <laughs> I have another question. Where do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible you might see some um, people down there in Evansville that... Uh, I owe money to no, you might have had a romantic liaison with Oh, it's always possible. Oh, oh it's possible. Sure, sure. Yeah. Out of the woodwork they come. I'd oh, like yeah. you to meet your new daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's 17. Whoa. Yeah, there was a funny bone down there for a while, so you never know. <laughs> Love the bone. <laughs> Love that bone. Do you ever refer to your uh, male member as the funny bone? <laughs> well, sure, sure. I guess you wouldn't want a woman to name it that. No. no. Oh, look, there's the funny bone. <laughs> You don't want to hear that. It wears a spinning bow tie. What do you do if you uh, like something during that moment? And then, oh, that's cute. Is yeah, that, is like that, that. An, is that an insult? Mm. Oh, I that's think so. cute. Yeah, I think. Unless you're dressing it up.
put a hat on? Why it? would you dress it up? I don't know. I'm sure there are people that do that. No, I don't, but I'm sure there are people that do. <laughs> you came up with that awfully yeah. quick. Very fast. I have a tiny wiener closet that I open up. <laughs> it's there. A lot of headroom. For every now. holiday? Oh, you got a big one for Special Friday, events. right? You know, a a white Day? cape after Labor Day? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's very good. I think a cape would be cute, right? I, <laughs> have, I have two things. First of all, <laughs> and you remember Puppetry of the Penis? Sure. Those that was guys? big for a yeah. while. They were on tour, weren't the, they? The bat wing yeah <laughs> yeah remember you remember that? those guys they stretch, were here stretch yeah, and they, yeah. Had some, they, they did here. some residencies in certain towns and yes they came out in capes and they took the capes off and, and they there were was their nude mm -hmm. they showed their wieners yeah, yeah oh they, they would make, stretch them and do and, weird things and they would make yeah. shadow puppets what shadow? Yeah, they would, yeah, yeah. They would, yeah it was um think of a balloon animal only use your penis yes. yeah that's what they were doing it was unbelievable Willie. man some people are just so creative, you know? It's I amazing know. what people can do when they put their minds Now they're to retired it. and living in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah, oh, I don't know if that's true. A little but. rough. Yeah. I thought. <laughs> kind uh, of yeah. a... I used to be somebody. Kind of a one-trick pony, or in this case, a one-dick pony. <laughs> One-eyed pony. <laughs> I saw a good back-to-back -back, uh, double feature with them and uh, the vagina monologue. Oh, did oh, yeah. 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 Quite a day of... Yeah. <laughs> genitalia. Genitalia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gen genitalia palooza. <laughs> yeah. I was a little pudended out, <laughs> honestly, afterwards. <laughs> Oh, you didn't see the Taint Tales? <laughs> no! Oh, you missed it. The uh, Taint Tales had gotten a bad review the night before. They oh, closed. Okay. Yeah. It's back, I hear. I remember the, other, the, the headline, The Tale of the Taint. <laughs> Not good. Taint Tales. Da, 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 remember Shirt Tales? Shirt Tales? You watch that? Cartoon? I loved Shirt Cartoon. Tales. Yeah, Shirt Tales? Yeah. And then, of they, course, DuckTales. They had yeah. a little, they had a monkey that had a Bogart accent. Remember? Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't know what we should do. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe Arby's or somebody gave away, like, you could get the, yes. the shirt tail stuff. Yeah. Yes. Wow, okay. I, I, right now. Um, and I really feel old because my daughter, my oldest daughter, loved the shirt tail. <laughs> yes. Thanks a lot. Coming up, Josh. we have, um, uh, we're going to talk with the comedian Bert Kreischer. Uh, we've got... Uh, I think. No, that's not today. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Okay, thanks for... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the sheet was on my thing. No, 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 no. At this point, at this point, at this point... Just own your mistake, okay? <laughs> it's not the sheet. It's not the humidity. It's not the lighting. You... Yeah, but it doesn't say read today. <laughs> <laughs> it was in my packet for today. Oh! Uh, yes, there was all kind of, there were a bunch of info here, too. Everybody's Sorry. aware of what's going on. But you. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay. We have, There's some behind-the-scenes changes happening here. I don't. Here. Uh, and that's okay. what I have to take. Uh, right. We'll talk with Bert Kreischer eventually. Really uh, today, uh, we, we're talking with Allie Breen. Right now, I want to talk steaks. Is that today? Mm. Who's our steak guy? Well, that, that would be Josh right Josh. over there. Nothing like a delicious Omaha steak. But nothing could be finer than a steak grilling on today. <laughs> it's out on the deck. <laughs> Thank you. Omaha steaks. Oh, our friends... Our steak experts that we count on to tell us what is going on there at omahasteaks.com. And boy, do they know. They know not only what's going on, but they know how to prepare wonderful, delicious, juicy steaks. Oh, perfectly aged, tender. Not only that, they've got that ocean-fresh seafood, juicy burgers, incredible air-chilled chicken, and decadent desserts. Josh, why are you listing off all the foods at Omaha? Because right now... 50% off site-wide, my friends. Whoa. That's right, half off whatever you like. Plus, when you go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code BTS at checkout, you'll get an additional $30 off your order. Make sure you load up on those jumbo franks. And I'm telling you, every Omaha Steaks meal ends perfectly with some wonderfully brown, sweet, delicious caramel apple tartlets. Mm. Maybe a dollop of whipped cream or vanilla iced cream. Oh, you're going to love it, and so will your family. It's the perfect way to get fired up and spring into something special with the quality and convenience of Omaha Steaks. My cooler was on my porch Two days ago. Oh, yeah. It's so fun yum, to unwrap yum, yum. that and open it up, and that dry ice comes pouring out, and you look at all your wonderful goodies. Mm. That's right. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use code BTS at checkout. Take advantage of this deal. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away. And hey, you're going to want to hurry because that 50% off site wide thing only happening for a limited time. Don't miss your chance to save. That's omahasteaks.com. 
code BTS at checkout and get an additional $30 off when you shop their semi-annual sale today. Grilling season, baby. It's here. Minimum order may be required at OmahaSteaks.com. I don't think it's going to be an issue. You're going to want to buy everything. That's right. Thank you. Coming Absolutely. up, uh, my favorite story in sports, the airless basketball is oh, coming. This is the... This is... What, oh, God. Do you think the vasectomy story is enough? Boy, is this, oh, a, is this a necessary no, thing at all? It's so cool. It, it's dumb. It's huh. dumb. Wait till you see this thing, Josh. It's awesome. With a okay. Ick, when we dumb. come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. State law. Summer always makes me think of my mom. Mm -hmm. she, I mean, she, my mom was making breakfast. You mm -hmm. know, she could make she could make waffles using nothing but a pancake and a hiking boot. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like the Vibram waffle. Really? I agree. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> well, waffles, there you go. Boom! Here we go. Uh -huh. How's the start? Oh, yeah. Sneezing from the pollen, the chain caught my shoestring, hit the center bar on my bicycle, and almost lost my bearings. I love summer. Good old summertime. I got sunburned on the soles of my feet. A lot of sand where the sun don't shine. Sunburned at the beach, in pain the whole darn night. So much skin peeled off my back, you can make a set of Samsonite. I love summer. Good old summertime. I got sand burned on the soles of my feet. A lot of sun where the sand don't shine. Putting on a cold, wet bathing suit. Mosquitoes and bees and tetanus shots <laughs> in the dairy air. Something's crawling in the foot of my sleeping bag And flaming marshmallows in my hair Drop and roll <laughs> Caught a baseball with my face <laughs> Potato salad in the sun Salmonella steps up to the plate Listeria gets the run Oh, I love summer Good old summertime I got foot sand on the sole of my burn. A lot of feet where the sand don't shine. I got shine soot on the sole of my pants. <laughs> oh, shine something soot. else. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Haywood Banks. us both win in overtime. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what? you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Kiwi Rogers is our guest. <laughs> Kiwi, uh, having just met you, I can um, just guess you're obviously an, an athlete of some sort. Yeah, I work out a little bit. They have the whole thing where you, you get your you pump weights and all that stuff. Yeah. You got to have a cardiovascular, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I didn't have that cardiovascular. I was playing basketball the other day. They made me guard the worst dude on the other team. <laughs> it was a fat dude wearing thongs. Man. You know, <laughs> standing on the court smoking a cigarette. You know I was a bad <laughs> And you couldn't keep up with I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I got involved with that aerobics. Don't like aerobics, man. That's too much like sex.
It is. Aerobics? Yeah, you sweat, muscles hurt, and then you got a woman up there telling you you're not doing it right. <laughs> 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 hey, guy, it's Kid Tarmac. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Take that to the bank. 24-7. <laughs> I know. What'd you do, Doc? Uh, so I screwed up. You know how too many times I, I say the wrong thing? Yeah. Right. Well, Kathy's into this mail order stuff again. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. She's into this big time. I came home the other day. There was a case of breast enlargement cream on the kitchen table. <laughs> there was? Breast enlargement cream? <laughs> yeah, sitting right there on the table. I said, what the hell is this for? She said she rubs it on her breasts. They get bigger. Uh -huh. I said, just use toilet paper. It's been working on your butt for eight years. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a beautiful We're hanging out with uh, comedian Dove Davidoff. So no relationship. Well, no, but but now I find now I find myself in a scenario where you know you're alone and you, you I'm on the road and you, you end up with these kind of the kinds of people that are willing to just go home with me are uh, inevitably hate themselves to some degree. <laughs> and so I'm there with a 22 year old drunk girl. I don't know the last time you tried to have a conversation with one of these girls, chick. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like a helicopter's landing in the distance, and every now and then I can make out a word. She's like. Dip, 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 dip. American Idol, dip, 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 dip. Uh, religion, dip, 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 dip. my mother I was like, what are you saying? And then she's like, are you too old for me? I was like, am I too old to put this in there? No. Am I too old to pretend I, I, I care about whatever it is that's taking place inside of you? Yes. I'm way, I'm Moses old for this. I'm King Tut old. Then we get back to my house and we finally start operating, you know. You know. No, and then she, and literally she pulls back, she goes, well, why don't we just be friends? First of all, you're wearing glitter. We got nothing in common. What do you mean, why don't we just be friends? You know, I mean, that's like me pulling into a gas station. Like, could you fill it up? We don't have any gas. Why don't we just be friends, man? How random is this? We have no basis for friendship. You might as well be a Muslim fundamentalist. You're wearing glitter. Take the glitter off. We'll talk. Could you do the helicopter sound effect one more time? American Idol. American Idol. The Hills. Spring Break. MTV. Joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was uh, sitting, I was in a hotel room, <laughs> and I just, I was watching a football game, and I, I opened the drawer, I pull out the Bible, I turned, I, I turned to John 316. Mm-hmm. And it actually says, sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, man, this is Donnie Biker. We'll give you more details. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Present. Pat Godwin's over there in the performance room. Hello. Head, getting on the road today. Heading yeah. To, heading to uh, uh, Eville. Oh. Down. Eville, Indiana. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. You're heading to New Bush. There's... New Bush. Oh, that's what? Careful. New Bird. Right? New Bird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got the same bush. That's for a while. How, how, you know, well, you, you got bush on be, the brain, don't you? Meet the new bush. <laughs> that's, that's, the old bush. that's Ace Cosby. Look There's Willie Griswold. Hey, look, look at this. What does it look like this says? What does it look like this says? Uh, got it. New bush? Looks like it says new bush. It kind of does. Yeah, but Tom, expense. you used to be no. a little... <laughs> you used to be a little good at... at being on the radio now, it's just a mess. You know that, right? I'm a literalist. Is that a word? Uh, yes, but I don't know if you're, if you're using Literally it right. reading what it is. Can you be a nihilist and a little? How about a clitoralist? You could be. You are, you're all... You know what? You can be everything. They're nihilists, Donnie. They don't believe in anything. <laughs> is there such a thing as clitorary tr criticism? I oh. There is something called uh, that lit... So, oh. as in, like, yeah, oh, you're yeah, reading yeah, some, oh, yeah. yeah. And now it's illegal to study that in Florida. Yeah, but I think yeah. kind of exciting. <laughs> is that well? <laughs> what you just said is that considered a negative? Is that like a? I think it's. A, uh, I think it was originally, and then yeah. people, they, then they owned it. They went, hey, yeah, well, what? Well, we why, don't we, why don't we call it that? Yeah, I think it's uh, part of people have that have a sense of humor. <laughs> talking about things in life. This one says, "Dear, dear Josh, this is from Jesse." Josh, you say when you were little, your mom didn't get ice cream when other kids got ice cream when the ice cream man would come to the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. a lot of times we didn't have the money. Well, now you can get all the ice cream you want because she's rich. <laughs> oh, I see the confusion here. Actually, she's married to a man named Rich. Oh, okay. Himself. It's, um, Look at him. He's a I mean, they're comfortable. But objector. They're he hates it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You dislike all running jokes but yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
not true. I love I'd enjoy a nice running gag. Well, we know that. That yeah, just, just needs a gag in it. <laughs> oh. I'll have you know that bit is very popular <laughs> among the people. Yes, it is. <laughs> they yell it from the, from the audience, don't they, Josh? <laughs> I don't want to say anything because I don't want to encourage it. No. I, I messed up in the past. Like a show like the <laughs> okay, the NCAA tournament started last night. Uh, Pitt and Texas A&M uh, Corpus Christi move on. I was busy watching Cocaine Bear. I didn't yeah, see it. How was it? Let's hear it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, oh, yeah. There's yeah. A, one a particular set piece that makes the price of admission worth... Uh, it's a, 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 a remarkable sequence. Will there, really? be a, will, will there be a sequel? You know what I would like to see... Is coca uh, do you remember Alien? Yes. What came after Alien? Alien Aliens. Two. Aliens. Oh, oh cocaine, I'd like to see bears. cocaine bears. Oh, yes. And then so. Cocaine Bears Three. They all have to go to rehab together, and they're just kind of sitting in a circle, sad, kind of crying, talking about their traumas, <laughs> why they had to do cocaine in the first place. Yes. It's a pretty fun cast, though, isn't it? It like, is a very Ray fun. Cast. Margot guy. Martindale shows up. Oh, she's yeah. great. She's Man, I wish I liked Margo. Gore. I want to see Ray Liotta. Yes. Ray Liotta will not be in the sequel. This is yeah. his last movie. I yeah. think so, yeah. The great uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson yep. from uh, Modern Family. Oh, he's incredible. He's and great. it opens with, uh, oh, I mean, it, as soon as that Universal logo starts spinning, Jefferson Starship Jane. Mm. So that dirt. Oh, that's a great <laughs> song. And then when it kicks in, there's a guy just throwing coke off a plane, <laughs> dancing. I was like, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> That was the last uh, decent song they put out, Jane. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jane and Miracles. We oh, built the city. On sure, Rocky yeah. Sarah? That was voted. The... Look it up. The worst song in the history of the world. I'm... It's got We its built the city. Yeah. <laughs> in the bottom of the trash can. <laughs> what about, uh, what's the one from Mannequin? Um, oh, oh, I'm so nobody glad stopped. I found you. Nobody stopped I us now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing yeah. can stop yeah. us. Nothing can stop That's us. That's a piece of crap. Whatever I'll give me the airplane over the starship any day. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you were going to say of that? Course. And Paul Cotton is a genius. I want you to know. Yeah, it's a much better band, much more interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you think Grace Slick kept getting... Uh, <laughs> Able to be able to. They said, Grace, why don't you sing this one? You think it was her talent? Or yeah, she's great. Mm. She, I do too. She wrote uh, mm. uh, White Rabbit, mm. right? Mm. I, yeah, I think she's. I think she's. Perfect. Um, how about um, the uh, Bad News Cocaine Bears? <laughs> Where they're, they're they're all like a prison camp, <laughs> and they have to like play it. in the prison softball team. <laughs> they're all in rehab. Wasn't like that you said. Did they talk about the real cocaine bear at the end or anything and say where he is? Because he's dead. Well, I know he's dead. The real now. cocaine bear died immediately. But what? he's in a museum outside of uh, just as, uh, within uh, near Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Essentially in Lexington. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. He didn't but, get uh, to hibernate. <laughs> but they showed some actual footage of like uh, Tom real? Brokaw talking about the incident. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. A real so. cocaine bear. A real. <laughs> That's my that, that was actual audio. Yeah. Tom <laughs> More sports coming up. What happened to Tom Blowchow? How's he doing? God, that, <laughs> made me, that made me howl. <laughs> Blowchow. He, interestingly enough, he is. Uh, <laughs> I heard that sniper. He's drinking Old Forester yeah. somewhere with. Forgive him. He knows not what he do. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> well, well, coming up, coming up. Up, we have a, a, world, a world record in the world of DJs. We got vasectomies. We have avocado news. Do I, I think Christy should do that story. I don't want to do that story. Which one? The avocado felony? No, no the, the, the DJ. DJ one. Okay, we'll we'll get to that coming up. Girl DJ. And a real lightsaber has been demonstrated. Oh, do, you have, do you have a light? Do you have a lightsaber sound? Effect? I do have a lifesaver. Lightsaber <laughs> sound. Okay. That's pretty good. And at long last, at long last, we have the CD version. Of Tom Jones, okay, what's new are pussy gonna, you know, no, I no. thought that it wasn't available. We, I we, think we, I we got it from Japan. I don't okay. think you're realizing it's how much import. people really, really don't like this. Yeah, segment. yeah, they really That's don't. I had to take off work yesterday. I hate it so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you know it was coming, right? You know what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, Willie? Nope, out. out. There goes my throat. I'm out. Yeah. Well, we'll hear the CD when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Hey, hi. Uh, with us in the studio, comedian Sal D'Amelio and Scott Dunn. Hey, you know this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scott, anything else in your life of interest these days? Well, I just bought that van. So we're oh, still that's right. Oh, yeah. we're, oh, that. we're enjoying that. Oh, van. Yeah. Now, 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 van or minivan? Minivan. I, mm-hmm. In this day and age, everyone just assumes minivan when you have children. I would think. How many people have the conversion <laughs> van? Is that what they're called still? Oh, I would big... like. I would love a conversion van, but yeah. Really? Is that where you can convert it into a bedroom? Bed, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boudoir. Sweet. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Knock one out on the way, down, going down the road. Let's pull yeah. onto that rest stop, honey. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to leave the kids at the previous rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, uh... Uh-huh. Well, none of them are going to be there. I, uh, well, you know, buying a car is a grind. I haven't bought a car from a dealership. It is... A, like a two-hour, three-hour grind. That's tough, yeah. And mm-hmm. so you don't want to be stuck with some idiot. No. You want a professional. You want sure. somebody. So I've done a, a little list of how you can tell whether your car salesman's professional or unprofessional. All right. Okay, okay. good. Okay. okay. We'll see. All right. Uh, you know, a big bonus to these minivans is the DVD player in the back. Oh, oh sure, yeah. sure. So if your salesman wants to show you how to operate it, that's professional. Mm-hmm. If he makes you go an extra hour on the test drive so he can watch the nude scene from American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> unprofessional. 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 <laughs> unprofessional. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Same token, you're buying a minivan for your family. Mm-hmm. So if he wants to show you the storage capacity, professional. If he wants to show you some great places to hide your weed. <laughs> no. All right. Now, I understand that buying a car is a negotiation. I'm trying to get a good deal. He's trying to make money. Mm-hmm. So telling me my offer is too low, understandable. Okay. Spitting in my coffee, unacceptable. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> wow. Yep. On the same token, while we negotiate, if he tells you he needs to leave the room to go talk to his manager, that's probably okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. If he tells you he needs to leave the room to go drop a deuce, <laughs> not okay. <laughs> not okay. Too much information. Wait. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 50 bucks never killed anybody. <laughs> well, he's never done this before. <laughs> Use cars, Christy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this one's for the ladies, Christy. Yeah. If your car salesman offers you free financing, yeah, that's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he offers you a free mustache ride, <laughs> not, not so great. No. It depends on what he looks like. There yeah, you there go. go. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Depends how cheap you're getting this car. Yeah. Uh-huh. And what do finally, I have to do to get you into this car? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, if your car salesman tells you that the van is a certified pre-owned car, uh-huh. that's professional. Yes. If he tells you it's a certified poon wagon, <laughs> <laughs> unprofessional. Ah, uh, the old But poon good to know. Wagon. Yeah, but good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Recently returned to acting, starring in the Netflix film Falling for Christmas, and stars in the streaming service's upcoming romantic comedy, Irish Wish. And the Oprah Winfrey Book Club has reached 100 picks. On Tuesday, Winfrey announced that she has chosen Anne Napolitano's Hello Beautiful as the milestone pick. Since 1996, Oprah's book choices have set folks on a journey of extraordinary influence and success, frequent reinvention, and the occasional controversy. It has endured through changes for both Winfrey and the publishing industry. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Morning laughter. (laughs) Just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom (laughs) 24-7. Do you remember the dramatic rescue of baby Jessica when she fell down the well? Remember she was 18 months old? Yeah. Believe it or not, baby Jessica is a baby no longer. She was married over the weekend. No kidding. She's now 19 years old, and she apparently tied the knot Saturday at a rural church outside Midland, Texas. Hmm. She's 19, her husband, 32-year-old Daniel Morales. I bet they're on city walk. (laughs) (laughs) Chick, I forgive you for everything you've ever done. (laughs) (laughs) Bravo, Chick McGee. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, only another 12 years. (laughs) Till the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Baby Jessica. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 20. So, what else is in your room? I have dog, dogs playing dog poker. Door, I have three of the dogs playing poker on the wall. You have dogs playing poker on yeah. the wall? The big yeah, velvet the painting. painting? Is it not a tapestry? The velvet. They're not velvet. Is it no. a tapestry? 
I do have dogs playing poker, a tapestry, one of them, but no, they're not the tapestry. Oh, mm-hmm. I, uh, the, the other tapestry that I gave you of my face? It has actually, uh, my comforter. I have that. That's in my living room. Can I tell you this? Honestly, in tr- all truth, my comforter is at the dry cleaners right now, and my your tapestry is on my bed right now. I slept oh, underneath God. it last night. Is he facing up or down? He's facing down. <laughs> I've never slept better. Oh, yeah. Really? Best friend Jack fell from his ladder, drunk as a skunk at his work one day, broke his back, bruised his bladder, switched to beer, now nah, he's okay. Grandma Thelma beat up me ante, all liquored up on the lawn one day, so we took away her box of Chianti, switched to beer, and now she's okay. Ah, how do you get your head to clear? Switch to beer, switch to beer. You don't have to go to AA, switch to beer, you'll be okay. Father McFeely said a sorry mass, three sheets to the wind at his church one day. Pinched an altar boy on the ass, switched a beer, now he's okay. <laughs> yeah. oh. Some tart broke my heart and set me free, so I drank straight gin for a year one day. Woke up in a rehab facility, switched a beer, now I'm okay. How do you get your head to clear? Switch the beer, switch the beer. You don't have to go to a Switch the beer, you'll be okay. <laughs> Bravo. I've been talking to my- hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're like- hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hey. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. What pizza did you have this morning for breakfast, Ace? Ground chicken, peppers, and onions. Huh. Sounds pretty good. There's Willie Griswold. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Chick McGee is broadcasting from the site of the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. That's right. Ace, it is the Ides of March. Therefore, I think you should get some kind of uh, Little Caesars pizza at some point today. How about know. Noble Romans? Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there are pizza. I can't we can't door dash pizza this early around here, I don't think. Yeah, well, no, 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 we, we can get one later. Ace eats nothing but pizza throughout the day. He'll get have wow. one for lunch or for dinner. Uh, in the meantime, we um, are heading over to the sports desk in order to find out what's going on with Chick McGee. Uh, the NCAA tournament, of course, in full swing with the uh, two first four games last night from Dayton 2 again tonight. And then everything uh, shifts into high gear Thursday at noon Eastern. But... It may seem like an odd pairing. Vasectomies in March Madness <laughs> are actually a match made in college basketball heaven. I don't know why you don't like this story. <laughs> Please do the whole story like that. <laughs> it seems that these surgeries typically skyrocket during this time of All year. All right. <laughs> No more? No. Uh, <laughs> Alexander Rosansky, uh, doctor, uh, UT Health San Antonio urologist. Doctor when he's not bowling, sure. And, by the way, never <laughs> accept a drink from urologist. Oh. <laughs> it's oh, the perfect time to relax at home and have something to do while you're recovering, he says. There aren't many sporting events like uh, March Madness, back-to-back days of multiple games to watch. Several urology practices actually feature March Madness vasectomy promotions because that's what I want out of my doctor. A two-for-one, a free TV, dinner for two. Yeah. A football phone. A football phone. (laughs) Where are those things, by the way? There's got to be be a warehouse with 50,000 of those. It didn't get you to sign up for Sports Illustrated? Come on. Uh, What, your own football phone? I think it's it's just a, a, a good awareness thing. It's a campaign where pe- a lot of people aren't familiar with how vasectomies work. They think they think that it's the same thing as castration. It is not. There are people out there who think vasectomies uh, will make you less uh, 
less potent. I, I mean, it would make you less potent, but I mean, as far as an erection goes. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can't answer the bell, I guess. Or, and that's, that's not, not true. true. That's, that's so not this true is at all. A, this is an opportunity for these uh, very fine physicians to educate right. uh, people as to what happens with a vasectomy. They uh, snip, is it called the vas deferens? That's right. It looks correct? like a piece of macaroni, a long yeah. piece of uh, hollow. You, you, you had one done, right? I sure did. I never uh, did went... they do the two cut or the one cut? Just the one cut. And they, they take like a knitting needle and it go across. It looks like a darning needle and they went in the bottom of my, here I'm touching it, it went to the bottom of my scrotum. Mm -hmm. And I had to get in the, of course, Thanksgiving turkey position while they were doing this. Oh. And they reach around and it's got a hook on the end of it and they find the vas and then they pull it out. Ouch. Right. And then they snip oh. and cauterize the ends. And then they, when they let it go and it goes back up inside you, that's uncomfortable oh very very uncomfortable. now did you get uh, do they keep the piece that they take out does, um, it, does it look like a little bit of vermicelli i don't think so i mean i wasn't i didn't go back for the uh sperm count after you didn't oh you could still be potent i know D uh, did they um <laughs> so they take they take a sperm count test before and after yeah of um, course sure they'd have to know do you have to give them the seed right there in the office oh i don't think i don't could. remember that i think i did it at home with people I, I like and know. This was a long time ago, Tom. And uh, you had an assistant? I did not. I know what I like. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think Josh be tall? <laughs> anyway, my point is. Um, that's the. You've not had a vasectomy yet, have you? No, no. You ever Still going to have, have babies yeah. young enough. How how are where do you fall on the uh, condom debate? Uh, I'm um, <clears throat> very allergic. <laughs> 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 I didn't wear condoms for very long because when I fell in love, I just went ahead and got married. Just, what and, I and, thought was love. Yeah, I don't really. I yeah. mean, remember, kids, they're only like 19% effective. Oh, it's, gosh. It's, the numbers. Don't, don't do that. And they're really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, they hurt. And this is like not really hurt. helping the way. Guys. And just like jeans, I found myself in between uh, condom size. Really? Yeah. Oh. Bad the environment. Yeah. No reason Did to you get the ones that have the little Levi sticker in the side. <laughs> um, I got the buttons up. Since so we're talking about birth control <laughs> and about a chick's uh, seed sample, I thought it would be a... Uh, there's a certain irony, by the way, in, in, when you talk about vasectomies with, uh, in, in, in relation to um, to college basketball, because people are concerned about their seed mm -hmm. uh, in, in college basketball, and then these are gentlemen who are having their seed undone, oh, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will but, tell you, um, that's the worst decision in my life to have a vasectomy. Really? Oh yeah. 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 Well, in any event, um, this is how the uh, the the sample went. Ah, hello. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> the perfect gift has arrived for this single man. The new cologne from the makers of Clintorius and Bonaire. Oh, no. France's most noted fashion designer, yours truly, Mr. Béchon of Paris, has developed an exciting and stimulating <laughs> new scent for men. Honey, come on. You've been in the bathroom for half an hour. What are you doing in there? Just... Just enjoying my, uh, Mr. Bation. <laughs> Mr. Bation. Just slap a little on. Repeatedly. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> Thanks, uh, I needed that. When you use Mr. Bashan, she won't be able to keep her hands off of you. And neither will you. Is that Mr. Bashan? Yeah, I, I think that's the scientific answer. Mr. Bashan, why not jerk a bottle off your department store shelf today? Mr. Bashan, it's not a sin anymore. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a fine, fine, fine cologne. You're inspired. Now, uh, we promised that um, we've been having some technical issues over here. Um, oh, my I, God. I, okay. I asked Eddie to fix there my turntable. We oh, well, and then he decided, what, the, the turntable can't be fixed. So um, we uh, decided to uh, find a, a copy of uh, Tom Jones' Greatest Hits uh, on CD. We had to go all the way to Japan, but I ordered this a long time ago. Uh -huh. So we should finally be able to hear the great song, What's New Pussycat, oh, I hope so. uh, through uh, contemporary technology, the, the, the so-called digital disc. I can't wait, is what they're saying um, in the bizarre world. Okay, uh, here, well, just, just give it a listen. Give me a, this is once again.
Maybe I can get Dean to get an eight track. <laughs> Black and Decker always had a little cleaning thing you could use. Maybe yeah. they can figure it out for us. <laughs> like a green sharpie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you remember the first time your CD skipped like that? I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the hell's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like an alien. In yeah. your early days, you used to have it on the air. I know, right? <laughs> I, oh, that's it, why I want this. I wanted this to happen. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it just happened. I was in Starbucks the other day, and all of a sudden it was rock, 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 rock. rock. I don't know what they were playing, but I don't know. I if it was always Billy wanted Joel. it to happen if somebody was still if, if, if CDs were if it ever happened with Dire Straits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody turn it off. And, oh, there you go. There's a new one. You're for tomorrow. You. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah thread that up. See what, happens. what did they do on MTV with that? Did they play that? They, they played it originally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. played it. With oh, the yeah. word in the Oh, yeah. yeah. They played the hell out of it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, those were different you know, times. I was in a radio station when CDs first came in, and I was doing uh, afternoons. We had to say music as heard through the eyes of a laser. <laughs> oh, Whoa. that is so lame. Really? <laughs> yeah. And our first uh, CD, you guys know the first CD you played? Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen? And it, it, but it turned it turned out that uh, that particular CD was actually just copied from a Album. vinyl record. Oh, it wow. Was it the live version? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Born the, to the, Run. Born to Run it? and yeah, Asia. Really, yeah. Oh, Asia. Thank yeah. God for that. <laughs> and it, but it was, it was, the Born to Run album was, if I recall, was not actually from a digital source. It was... Are you ready for my first CD I played? The Alan Parsons Project. Oh, that's a good one. Games People Play. Oh. That's not a bad CD at all. This is some good stuff for that guy. Is Eye in the Sky uh, on there? I, oh, yeah. I, I am the Eye in the, the Sky. sky. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's that's Bob Welsh. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Alan for the I, I like that album. Try thinking like this. <laughs> okay. I am, I am. Now, <laughs> Willie missed a bunch of stuff yesterday. Do you know whose birthday it was yesterday? Whose birthday was it? Turning 90, do you remember? Turning 90, it was um, McC um, Kane, wasn't it? Yeah. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Oh, Michael Caine. The, oh. Tom you know Cruise was there celebrating yeah. his birthday in London with Michael oh, Caine cool. yesterday. Yeah. I love Austin Michael Powers, Caine. Batman, he's sure. the best. He's most famous for Twats It All About, <laughs> Alfie. <laughs> oh, yes. Twats How It Go. Wait, Wait a minute. Twats It All About, <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it. Muffy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Or. What was it? <laughs> sweet, sweet. Uh, That's no, no, you heard him. Twats It All oh, About, okay. E. Woody. The best Michael Caine. I think nice. I, it's my feeling that the best Michael Caine joke was, uh, you know, I videotaped my wedding over the weekend. Michael yeah? Caine was in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, That's hilarious. Yes. But he, every, he's so great. I love him. Um, we talked to him. He was a cool guy. Uh, right now, I want to remind you that that, is, that isn't just any sports desk over there. You think anyone else would broadcast no. this? <laughs> no, that's, that's Chip this. McKee at the orangeinsoles.com sports I desk. I on the copyright. And I'm going to tell you about Orange Insoles. If you have a job, J-O-B, that requires you to stand all day, which, uh, of course, leads to hip pain and back pain, you need orangeinsoles.com. If your body's not aligned, think about it. You might experience more fatigue, injuries from your feet to your back. What happens if a house is built on a poor foundation? What happens? It fall over. Yeah. Orange insoles can reduce hip pain, foot pain, and lower back pain by providing a deep heel cup for maintaining proper weight distribution and body alignment. Most shoes don't come with a supportive insole, and companies just put a thin layer of foam, that weak, limp, rubbery, flaccid, pointless uh, sock liner. <laughs> Orangeinsoles.com, an easy-to-navigate website. You find the right pair of orange insoles for whatever activity or shoe. That's right. Work boots, tennis shoes, cowboy boots, dress shoes. Plus, of course, Orange Insoles has the 60-day we want you to be happy, guarantee. Head over to orangeinsoles.com for free shipping. And right now, when you sign up for text messages from Orange Insoles, you also receive an additional savings code. Check out orangeinsoles.com today. Get proper support in your shoes and start feeling better. That's orangeinsoles.com, proud supporters 
of the Bob and Tom Show. You wouldn't build your house on top of marshmallows. Nope. That's nope. right. Don't lead your life walking around on marshmallows. Get those orange insoles. They have that great guarantee, so if you don't like them, ship them back. But nobody does because everybody loves them. When we come back, we have a couple cool world records. We have avocado news that happens to be a felony. <laughs> <laughs> and a soap opera star is uh, apparently a thief, allegedly. We'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom news update. Legislation to legalize recreational marijuana for adults in Minnesota underwent a major rewrite yesterday with the addition of new language to regulate and protect the state's industry in low-potency edibles and drinkables. Low-potency products containing THC derived from industrial hemp instead of full-strength cannabis have been legal in Minnesota since last year. Good news for the more than 8 million Americans who use insulin. Another major maker has promised steep price cuts as pressure grows on drug makers and insurers to trim the cost of medication that millions of us need to survive. Nova Nordisk says it will slash some of the U.S. insulin prices up to 75% next year. That announcement comes two weeks after rival Eli Lilly said it will drop some of its prices by 70% or more later this year. And Facebook parent Meta is slashing 10,000 jobs, about as many as the social media company announced late last year in its first round of cuts. Uncertainty about the global economy continues to hit the technology sector particularly hard. CEO Mark Zuckerberg calls the cuts tough, but says there's no way around it. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. And Tom 24 7, 24 7, 24 7, 24 7. Matt Weinhold is our guest. Uh, and um, wow. I, I still love I still love Star Trek. Do you guys keep up with any of that stuff? I'm not, not a Star not Trek a and Babylon fan, 5 and all that. I love all that stuff. Pretty much anything that will not get me laid, I'm into. <laughs> uh -huh. Which, but I actually have had sex, which sort of makes me like the Fonzie of the Star Trek convention. <laughs> you know these conventions. <laughs> oh, man, it's Matt. He's been with a girl. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I actually bring a girl into these things. Say, Where'd you meet her? On the internet? No. No, no. I met her at a bar. Whoa! Whoa. We're not worthy! <laughs> We're not worthy! Oh, that's great. <laughs> Things are so complicated. Remember the good old days when all you needed for romance was a van and some chloroform? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes! What happened to those days? Bob and Tom. You can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. My name is J. Chris Newberg, and uh, these are my thoughts and observations. Do you think if the Pope sneezes and someone walks up to him and they're like, bless you, you think he's like, Haha, I'm good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's pretty safe to say that Rosa Parks was undefeated at musical chairs? <laughs> I was dating this girl and she got all mad at me because I did exactly what she told me to do. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you do exactly what your lady tells you to do, exactly what she tells you to do, and yet you're a big jerk. Like, for example, she told me she wanted me to treat her like a princess, so I'm like, okay, no problem, I get you, right? 
So I called a bunch of my friends up, and they came over, and they piled them back in my car, and we got some cameras, and we chased her around until she crashed into a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian Greg Warren, former uh, state champion wrestler. You're the son of a wrestling coach. Now, I assume your dad was also your wrestling coach. Is yes. that correct? Yes, he was. Yeah, you know, people are always asking me. They're like, you know, hey, that must have been tough. Your dad was a wrestling coach. He must have pushed you really hard. Mm -hmm. He did. I mean, but you think about it. He pushed me in athletics. That's sort of a normal thing to push your kid in, right? I mean, you know, there's people out there who spend their whole lives trying to find Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like to have that guy pushing you? you know? Do you even want to find Bigfoot, son? Because you don't act like it. <laughs> you don't have a tracking map. You don't have night goggles. You don't know how to make a plaster mold out of a footprint. <laughs> what, do you think he's going to show up, son? You, oh, wait, there's somebody at the door. It's Bigfoot, Greg. You found Bigfoot? <laughs> That's not the way it works, pal. You better shape up because right now, I don't think you could find the neighbor's dog. Comedian Dwight Slade. I think they're overdoing the ID for liquor. We ID under 65. Bring your walker. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got carded the other day, and it's like, look into my eyes. You ever seen a 21-year-old with this much hate and bitterness in their eyes? <laughs> Yeah. Let's not count the birthdays. Let's count the dark angels. Uh -huh. Oh, the people you. who think and cluck at the same time. Eh? <laughs> how, how does that work? You ask them a question. You go, hey, are we doing dinner tomorrow? Dinner tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an aborigine? Answer the question. <laughs> I want to go to dinner. You're hunting for Coke bottles. Let's go. <laughs> we don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah. can't go anymore. <laughs> oh, That's cow. a good day's work, Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chrissy Lee over there at the news desk. Hi, hey, There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. You better believe it, baby. That's right. He's bringing it. <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. You better believe it, baby. Another great hoodie. Thank Willie. you, man. Is that Lulu hey, Lemon? It's, it's Lulu. It's always Lulu. Lulu. He's always Lulu. Oh, you're making Lulu money now. I'm, I'm cozy, blessed. baby. I'm cozy. I'm Jick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Uh, hello. Thank Hello. you very much. Uh, we have a Chick McGee, of course, broadcasting from the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. Uh, we're going to find out some cool stuff about orange insoles coming up. Uh, also, I'll remind you on a slightly different note, we have our uh, stab at bracketology up and running. Go to uh, bobandtom.com slash contest for all the details. Some serious money at stake, of course. In the meantime, we turn to Mr. McGee at the sports desk. What have you got over there? The Indianapolis Colts have released quarterback Matt Ryan, number two in your program, number Number two, the Associated Press reports that by releasing uh, Matt, the Colts saved almost $20 million, 17.2 to be exact, his salary cap space for next season. They had to release him by uh, today at 4 o'clock is the, oh, Happy New Year. It's the NFL New Year today. It starts at 4 o'clock. Did you know that, Tom? Happy New Year. What? Should old acquaintance be forgotten, forgotten. and they will because of CT. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Hey, Donnie. Thank God you called. Well, I heard that uh, Josh actually gave a, what, a thumbs up to the movie Cocaine Bear. I yeah, told you, Donnie. Well, if Josh like it, you know his sequel's coming. Because this is the biggest thing since Sharknado. Everybody's talking about it. I'll say like this, spoiler alert, because of climate change, at what point are we able to tell if it's just a common polar bear or cocaine bear with the problem? <laughs> and now, just when you thought it was safe, here, zebras are snapping off arms like Slim Jims. You yeah. hear about that, Tom? Yeah, Yeah, some zebra almost bit a guy's arm off in Ohio, of all right. places. Yeah, but I can't believe people are shocked to hear the zebras are venomous. Because think about it. They prance around in detention ponds just to piss off gators regular. Mm. Well, they got no fear. Not to mention, I won't trust any horse that dresses up like it's headed to a kiss concert. I swear to God. <laughs> You know, they claim zebras got sharper teeth than piranhas. Wow. But uh, unlike piranhas, once they hit the water, they can't swim. And they're too ignorant and stubborn to gang up, you know? But Ace is over there bragging about eating pizza for a month. Hell, gators have been feeding on zebra for centuries, what? you know? What? Maybe even decades. I swear to God. It's all they eat, Christy. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
That's what I want to see on the next episode of Yellowstone. Instead of running for governor, I want to see Kevin Costner's lasso of zebra. Good luck breaking a horse with fangs. I swear to God. <laughs> So there. Oh, you know what? I'm waiting for co I'm waiting for cocaine zebra to come out. Uh -huh. Or worse yet, can you imagine cocaine with? Oh man. Take a wow. second and camp on I know damage. Sure, you think it's just nosing through the trash. <laughs> but next thing you know, it's hollowed out your crouch. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> Yeah, man, I ain't playing around whiffs or the piranha of the prairie. I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Did anybody see um, 60 Minutes on Sunday evening? No, I'm uh, I I'm 44. Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry. It was a fascinating, fascinating thing about dogs and about wolves. Turn that on. We, really? If you're ever thinking of getting a pet wolf, Where's my you'll wolf? want to see this first. Um, <laughs> yeah, Donnie was referencing this story. An Ohio man was hospitalized after Where's his pet wolf? zebra nearly bit his arm off. 72-year-old guy. Uh, All right, Zebra, sticking yeah. it to the man. Lying on the ground in a fenced-in field. This is the sad part of this. The zebra continued acting erratically while deputies were trying to assist the man. Yeah, you'll they never, had to kill the zebra. You'll never take me alive! Oh, just, you'll never take me alive! Yeah. Oh. They had to um, well, he was right. shoot the yeah. uh, zebra on the spot. They think the zebra was protecting the, the female zebras <laughs> in the field. I thought they were striking. <laughs> oh, they, very good. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that joke did not get the get let's, the laugh that it let's, deserved. Let's take a moment. <laughs> yeah. And look at that comment. <laughs> they shot him on the spot, I on said, spot. not intending to be, make a now, joke. Now, Tom, you were telling a story about a zebra being shot, uh -huh. and you said uh, it bit his owner's arm off. Almost, yeah. Almost. They sewed his arm back on. And the zebra oh, okay. was still uh, angry, violent. Yeah. And they had to shoot him on the spot. And then what did you say, Josh? Well, on the spot? I thought zebras were striped. Uh, <laughs> and Ace did nod in acknowledgment that it was at least... A joke. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, attempt an attempt. Have <laughs> you seen that this this zebra just bloody and awful. All right, we yeah. answering oh, really? answering the long time riddle. What's black and white and red all over? Oh. <laughs> uh, a zebra oh. that just shot on the spot. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, well, here we go again, kids. Are you ready for a new sports league? What sports league? Yes. Former Golf Channel reporter Holly Saunders, S-O-N-D-E-R-S, says she's launching the hottest sports league in the world. Oh, so she's not a former reporter because she was reporting on Live Golf. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, with, boy. She says it's going to be hot. <laughs> with they would have cut her into pieces and put yeah. her in a briefcase. And models. Her oh, going to a briefcase. Models and topless matches. Is that right? Back in January, she hinted at what was to come with an Instagram post that read, The Golden Girl Lingerie Sparring League will break all pay-per-view records. <laughs> That's right. Okay. What do you topless think? golf? Uh, topless golf and topless boxing. She's actually... No, boxing. Who wants to see that? She's, uh, oh, are you oh. kidding? She you shared a video it. on Instagram of herself in a referee shirt ta uh, walking to the Fox Sports theme that said, told you I was starting my own topless sports league. What should be the first sport we take on? And then there's a picture of her in the boxing ring. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I Waiting think in boxing, you have to, you're covering the Dukes and you're covering the girls. You know, you got to. Oh, but they're flopping around when they hit. Oh, oh, volleyball. <laughs> that's that's a special kind of misogyny, isn't it? I, I want to uh, see topless women beat each other. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> I went, I made the mistake. Of, I was a heavyweight boxing uh, fan when I was a kid. And yeah. I was caught up in Ali, Frazier, all those guys. And uh, there was a boxing match here locally, not the about 10 years ago and a couple of guys with the, ma the main card uh, and then the, but a few of the early fights there was uh, two girls fighting and they ding the bell and they walk out and one girl punches the other girl right in the face and the girl that got punched burst into tears oh, oh no man. <laughs> and that was my introduction to female boxing well so it, it got said, better but i said i'm out of here yeah no, I, that, you, you're, you, no, you've nailed it, Josh. That is just, what kind of sick bastard? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really God. something. I mean, if, if, at least if it was volleyball, it would be kind of cutesy and stupid and dumb and It's sexist. almost that way now. I mean, with beach volleyball, they're barely dressed. Mm -hmm. We have so many junk sports. What is the? There's the slap league, whatever. Oh, that was last weekend. Power slap. Yeah. God, we have bomb could go off in that place, and the world would be better off. What a joke. What kind of morons want to watch that?
Well, well, I tell you what, that power slap league, it, uh, they ain't hit no harder than Daddy hit. <laughs> <laughs> if Daddy is still alive, I, st I still don't know. I still don't know what happened to him. Uh, hey, if you really want to get slapped good, all you have to do is put a lizard in one of his shoes. <laughs> What happened to you? That's so uh, specific. I, all I had to do is, I think he said, run my mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Smack yeah. me. But he went out in the backyard. Right upside the head. One night in the middle of the night, never came back. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think he joined the Star <laughs> <laughs> I like to think he's out. sitting in a den full of trophies. No, that's right. Not, not laying in the backyard uh. bleeding to death after I shot it. <laughs> what? So is this is is that is it's that a mini series? Now. I love is it. that like that scene in the Deer Hunter, except they're slapping? <laughs> Does the guy go mow mow and slap himself in the well, face? They are slapping. Oh, deer man. Hunter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, Christy. Okay, Tom. It's trivia time. What? Maurice Mickle White Jr. Wait a minute. We yeah. have music for trivia time. It's time. trivia time. Ooh. Anybody? You should know this, Josh. Maurice? I, I, what is it? I know who it is. Maurice Micklewhite Jr. Yes, that is the uh, the real name of Kid Rock. Uh, no, that would be Bob. <laughs> Richie. Uh, Bob, oh. Bob Rock. No, it's, um, that is the actual name of um, Michael Caine. Oh, all oh. right. And he tells a story that he came, uh, he went to the, see the Kane Mutiny. Yeah, he said he was, uh, he hadn't picked a last name, his, was talking to his agent on the phone, and looked up and saw the marquee for Citizen Kane. Oh, Citizen Kane. I thought it was Kane Mutiny. I'm, I think you got that wrong. I don't know. No, I'm reading it right here. At, uh, well, 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 well the Kane Mutiny right. is spelled like Michael Kane. Right. 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 Citizen right. Kane is not. Citizen but, Kane has oh. a K. Uh, yeah, well, I think um, I'm right. <laughs> I think you're uh, wrong. And I know this is right. Oh, well, I, it just, it's good. I, my point is it's a good thing you didn't look up and go, my name's going to be Michael 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> Michael Oz. <laughs> Wouldn't have had the weight, the gravitas of a Kane. Or Michael Oz. I like that. <laughs> Michael Deep Throat. Maybe that oh, is. yeah. Well, about the that? wrong era, though, you see. Okay. The, 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 <laughs> deep Throat came out significantly after Mr. Kane was... You know, a friend of mine uh, videotaped... What's it all about, <laughs> Alfie? <laughs> friend of mine videotaped his wedding. <laughs> Michael Kane was in it. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Okay, I've cleaned the CD... Oh, oh, good. good. Once again, um, we've been trying to find uh, a clean copy of What's New Pussycat. Not available, uh, of course, in traditional digital uh, media for some reason. Due to lack of interest. Yeah. And um, we have, I went to Japan and I ordered a CD version of this, as you can, and you can see this. Um, I, so it's not going to do that, that fake skipping thing. We got to get Eddie in it. Okay, now, now, now then I'm going to go back to vinyl. You know, oh, Willie, okay. you weren't here for this, but I got the greatest hits album. Yeah, no, I heard this one. So, so we don't have to play. We don't have to just play the single of What's New Pussycat at 45. This is the uh, 33 and a third album, Greatest Hits. And this is one of his, uh, this has got several of his hits on it, including this one, which is one of my favorites of the obscure, uh, my favorite James Bond movie is Thunderball, and this is the somewhat obscure uh, title song, as sung by the great uh, Tom Jones. And he strikes like thunder, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a bizarre skip, huh? Yeah. Skip, skip. Skipped right to... And, that, and then back. Yeah. I mean, things are crazy. This, I, 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 Eddie may have to be in a pink slip. I, I don't That's know what the hell's nice. wrong with him. He's got to fix this equipment. You really like that theme song, Thunderball? I, do, I love those early James Bond theme songs. They're so good. Awful. 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 I love them, too. The big that horns. And, Only with the credit sequences. And, you know, the, the, the kind of, silhouettes of women swimming. Yeah. And, <laughs> those were the best. Boobs floating in the water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. All right, so I'm sorry. So back to your Actually new sports buoyant. league. This oh. woman's going to have uh, naked women boxing. Looks like it. And playing golf. Is that Holly the Saunders. other one? Well, they're going to do a lot of things uh, topless. It's going to be the hot gonna... sports league. Okay. It's Wait, golf so there. stupid. Golf sounds nice, though. There's a jiggle factor involved in golf sure. that I think could be fun for viewers. Sure, she's shopping it around, Christy. I don't know the answer to that, but thank you again for asking me a question. I don't know the answer to. I appreciate it. Well, I think it was a fair question. What, would you, what sport, would you, what what sport would you pick for this sexist venture? I would not. I would not want anything to do with this. Actually. Oh, that's nice. Maybe Josh, that. Why? Why uh, isn't the uh, sledgehammer 
ding the bell from the fair a sports league. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could have all carnival games. Like, where's my bell? The who's carnival games. The international carnival, carnival games. games. Yeah. Oh, yes. Clang. Yeah. yeah. Carnival or Carnival games. United National. No. no that's not. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, carnival United Television. National Team. Uh, it's pretty amazing, those some of those carnival games. I don't know if you saw the, the tragic uh, photographs of the uh, earthquake in Turkey. In one oh. city, the only thing left standing were those three milk bottles. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. And there was apparently a fair going on. You know, there's not that much uh, comedy about earthquake. Oh. Go with another like tragedy. Like yeah. should be. Why do you have to make that your running bit? <laughs> No one laughs at it Monday. A lot of people can be heard but not found. Oh. It's a real tragedy. It can be heard was, but not I found. I forgot it was my fault. Um, it was I mean, that's I the justification. I didn't cause the earthquake. Yeah, but not my fault. How is that even choosing to joke about it is your fault? <laughs> That's a decision. Right? It's a terrible I decision that you made. Passing along information. Oh, yeah, you're, you're doing <laughs> Making people aware. Oh, this is my other. This is my other favorite thing he does. Is like, I'm dazzling them with my words, mm -hmm. and they're going to agree with me. You know stuff. <laughs> Well, you're the one that brought out the stupid story about topless sports, and then I ask you which one you'd want to do. It. I think golf really does lend itself to. I yeah. think showing them off. The more. whole thing is just is terrible. I think golf because you can you know make them sway while you're standing. <laughs> yeah. over the hey, look if it's if these women can make good money and they're fine with it, I, I say great. But I, I it's not something. I know I'm a pervert. The only I, way it would be good is if they had the, the the CBS coverage like they do with the Masters, <laughs> where the guys are whispering. Well, you all can see a bunny approaches the green. Um, her, her caddy. Wait, 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 bunny? Bunny. Bunny. Yeah, bunny. Yes, yes. Sure is giving me a, a six wood, if you know yeah. what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. Holy gosh. Her caddy seems to be lubing up the uh, oh, no. nipples. Oh, no. oh, no. the, whole thing is, the whole thing is ridiculous. Lubing up. Yeah, is it's this gonna be What channel would broadcast this? I'm really surprised that this is Pay -per -view. even... Pay-per-view. Pay-per-view? what they said, yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. PPV. Okay. Well, as soon as they would you pay for this or would you be ashamed of yourself? I don't know. I might have the boys come over. We'll pay for it. Kind of a group play with yourself thing. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Now, are we back to back like we're on watch in Vietnam? No, or no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing a half circle and the TV, the focal point. We just Makes go sense. at it. Yeah. Do guys Is do that? Sure. All, every week. Yeah. All the time. If Who brought ever, the crackers? If there's ever been two guys in a room together, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Really? We don't talk about it. You'll hear this. You know how women go to the bathroom together? Yeah. Guys yeah. do this. I you. had oh, yeah. no idea. Hey, see you this weekend at the Play With Yourself? Yeah, I'm there. It's as uh, natural Pat, as a thing. Yeah. When we come back, do you have a song? I have yeah, well, many okay. songs. Okay, good. Uh, once again, Mr. Godwin, part of a special benefit this evening in the um, Bush, no, the... Um, uh, Newburgh. Newburgh, Indiana is the place <laughs> down near Evansville. <laughs> Friedman Park Event Center. It's a special benefit for doggies. How cool is that, Pat? Be sure to go see Pat What's tonight. Again, maybe radio isn't for you, Tom. Have you, huh? have you thought of it? Have you given that? <laughs> sure. Huh? I think, uh, maybe, uh, sure, I don't know what I do, but still. Maybe banking. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, let me, uh, Banking? Get yeah, you probably deal with less. Here you go. Even giving out money if you worked at a bank. Uh, hang on, Josh. Uh, you sign this paper. Oh, no, that's my grocery list. Hang on. No. You, uh, <laughs> when we come back, we'll hear from Mr. Godwin. Also, my favorite story today involves the brand new airless basketball. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show. I don't know. I'm trying to put together a new CD here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to get a bunch of songs gathered up here. I think it's time. And uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to hear some unreleased material? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Uh, absolutely. That's right. Oh, well, here we go. Unreleased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a song called I'll See You in Heaven. All right. Well, I was 21 years old when I married my sweetheart. And we swore that we would love each other until forevermore. We lived happily together on a farm by the hillside and each day was better than the one before. Well, except of course for this one day when she was tilling out in the field and she fell off her tractor and got run over by a bush hog. <laughs> and I'll never forget 
As I held her in my arms, the last words that she said to me, she said, baby, I'm gonna wait for you in heaven. Well, a couple days went by, and eventually I just got over it. <laughs> and I started hanging out with some 21-year-old beach bunny. We moved out to California and bought a house on the shore, and each day was pleasant as can be. Well, except in course for this one day, when she was shredding out on the point break, and she slashed up on a rip curl and got yanked out to sea. <laughs> when I was sitting on my beach blanket, I'll never forget the last words that she shouted across to me. <laughs> she said, baby, I guess I'm gonna see you in heaven. Well, when my time finally came, I was at the pearly gates, and my first wife was there, and she said, see, baby, I told you I was going to wait for you. But it was kind of an awkward situation, because <laughs> Beach Bunny was right behind her, and she said that she was going to wait for me, too. So I didn't know what to say, so I tried to make a dumb joke, and I said, hey, maybe we could all have a threesome. <laughs> and the angels in heaven didn't care for that remark, and nothing I could say could appease them. And that's when I was stricken down to hell. Well, the moral of this story is if you're ever in a love triangle, and both of your loves just die in some bizarre, odd geographically relevant contrived uh, <laughs> manner <laughs> well don't try to ask for a threesome in heaven or you'll end up in hell just like me <laughs> yeah you'll end up in hell just like me <laughs> Henry Phillips It's a patch. A patch. A patch. Like, Some kind of patch. Yes, it's a patch. Like you put on your arm. Nick, a term is a patch. Ah, oh, I'll be damned. Yes, it's a patch! <laughs> Two days later, different flight, same airport. What do you mean a patch? <laughs> it's a patch. You mean like a cabbage patch? No. Like a briar patch? No. Like a patch of pirate wear? No. You mean like a patchwork quilt? No. You mean like a Clarence Carter's no. patches? No, why can't you understand this? It's a patch your doctor gives you that you wear on your arm. What do you mean arm? Two days later, same airport, yet another flight. Now, let me get this straight. Nicoterm is a... <laughs> Nicoterm, guaranteed to help you quit smoking. I think it's a pad. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine! To the max, there's baloney in our sight. Bob and Tom, 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. They might as well take it to the next level. I, I want to see the... Uh, that should be the next reality show, the Oz couple. Ozzy Osbourne and some other unintelligible foreigner are living together in their little adventures, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger runs in with an apron on. Listen to me, Ozzy. I, I can't have dishes sitting around the kitchen all over the place. I just, you know, I just said, breakfast, man. Oh, oh, yeah. I, you know, just go, I mean, every time I go out of town, I come back, it's like a war zone in here. I can't live like this anymore. I was going to get around to be a guy running in here like a Nazi. I don't know. As soon as I learn how to do another impression, I'm Get another roommate. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian Jeff Brown has joined us in the studio. Jeff is uh, a resident once again of the great city of Chicago. Us in the Midwest. Yeah. We know what true cold is. I was so tired of LA. It's so vapid and shallow. Oh, Jesus, 56. Close uh -huh. the window. True cold? True cold yeah. is when your dog would rather take a kick in the ribs for taking a dump in the living room. 
<laughs> than going outside. Yeah. That's uh -huh. when it's cold. Yeah. yeah we, my coldest day ever was in Chicago. It was uh, with a wind chill, 64 below zero. Oh, yeah. We don't I'm have... so glad they thought of the whole wind chill thing. Yeah, yeah. It was cold. It was damn cold. Oh, yeah. There's certain problems. I pooped on the rug. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that really brings it home for me. Stock Economopoulos uh, is our guest. A Maryland burglar broke into a house, robbed a couple at gunpoint, and then forced them to play their piano so he could sing along. He was arrested for <laughs> armed robbery, wanton endangerment, and aggravated karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt says she actually enjoys looking at her breasts on the internet. Huh. Well, then I should call her. Apparently, we have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. The National Museum of the Native American Indian is open in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, they now have to move it to Oklahoma to make room for the Christopher Columbus Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7, which begs the question Special benefit project, it's on the way. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the uh, performance room. Hey, Chick. No songs from Pat today. I'm really disappointed. Coming up next. I sang songs already. One, right? A little vagina song. <laughs> a little something <laughs> a about a tiny song. vagina song. I thought it was a taint song. <laughs> right. There's Josh Arnold. Hello, Mr. McGee. Oh, it's Danny from The Shining. <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. Hubert fell today. Mm. A rare misstep from Stanley. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Hello, Tom. The chicks at TheOrangeInsouls.com Sports Desk. I stand corrected, Mr. McGee. You were right. I was wrong. I found another source on this. We were talking about uh, the oh, 90th birthday of, um, of the great uh, actor Michael Caine. This source uh, agrees with you. Uh, and it makes more sense because of the spelling. Um, he was naming himself, and he was on the phone with his agent, and he saw the marquee for the Kane Mutiny, which is the based on the Herman Woke um, novel and play, right? And uh, that's where he got Michael Kane, not from Citizen Kane. So you are correct. I he was had wrong. it down to two. It was either Michael Kane or Big Dick Kane. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was either Michael Kane or decide. Michael 101 Dalmatians. I told you that. I, to uh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> He's great and everything. But you, you said you had a friend that uh, got married last week? Yeah, he videotaped the wedding, and uh, Michael Caine was in it. <laughs> well, he's in everything, isn't he's he? He's in everything, Tom. If we had to update uh, Kevin Hart, is that who you'd use now? Probably. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's in everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Paul Rudd, maybe. Oh, you can't get enough Paul Rudd. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm going to disagree. Well, you're wrong. Uh, now, we have uh, a Chick McGee at the he's sports says, but we've promised a song from oh. Mr. Gunn. Is this our pizza tribute for today? Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> Halfway again, through, surprise! Uh, uh, Ace Cosby is eating pizza every meal for the month of March, and we've reached the halfway point, the, the Ides of March. And my suggestion, of course, is in honor of the Ides that he gets something from Little Caesars. Yeah. Only appropriate uh, at some point today. But right now, Pat, uh, you have a, a tribute to pizza? Money talks. If we keep talking pizza, chick's gonna walk. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I eat pizza three times a day, for a month, Tom will pay stretching my blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> three stuff sweets. Give me a lobster pizza, throw on some meat. <laughs> And if you pardon me, I gotta go. My boxes are gonna blow, stretching my blue jeans. <laughs> a big pizza pie. A hug in tonight by the TV, watching CSI. I'm getting so round and ultrasound of my heart might be nice. <laughs> should be detoxed after a month of eating cheese off the box <laughs> pizza 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 three times a day tom's gonna pay stretching my blue jeans yeah all right all right all right. Thank you, Neil. A uh, little you. tribute to, to Neil Diamond there. Sorry, Neil. Uh, and, right. But now Ace uh, claims that his, uh, his uh, quote, house pants are getting looser. Yeah. So you eat Lounge some... pants. No, he called them his house pants. Lounge pants. Yeah. 
I heard him call them house pants. Well, that's <laughs> what you <laughs> heard. Okay, Tom hears what he wants to hear. Well, that's <laughs> exactly right. When talking with us, let's not say house anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. They've wow, forgotten, wow, they've wow, forgotten wow. everything I got wrong today. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Certainly, all right? Love is alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the thing, too. Alex, Susie! 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 Ever heard seen her hear her sister? Someone once talked to me. Oh, what? <laughs> Who's your sister? Uh, Susie Twatro. <laughs> Boy, Twats. It all about. You speak Tom. I was going to go with that. That's funnier. I like that. <laughs> what what, what were, were you going to say? say? Oh, my jeez. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would say Susie Cinco, her <laughs> younger sister. <laughs> That's, I mean, <laughs> Cinco is bigger than Quattro, and also if you're related, you have the same last name. <laughs> I know. That'd be silly. <laughs> that, would, that would be very silly. Yeah. They all had the same first. First name? It's like seven jokes in one, Willie. Yeah. 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 I just wish that the He's joke was correct. If you're gonna yeah. do no, no, the joke is not correct. Quattro totally Cinco. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, next sports story will anger all true NFL fans and uh, maybe fans of competition altogether. Uh -oh. the, the, uh, the, the concept of team sports. Aaron Rodgers has given the New York Jets a list of free agents he wants them to pursue and acquire. As he might become a New York child. Oh, my God. It's all right. You know, you get no. to a point in your career where you can give ultimatums. <laughs> but he, he, Why has, doesn't somebody... he hasn't agreed to sign yet, right? Not yet. Why doesn't he, somebody just ignore him, make him go away? The quarterback's list includes three former Packer teammates. Uh, Alan Lazard, who was signed yesterday by the Jets. Randall Cobb. They call him Corn. They, call him, they don't call him Tex? <laughs> Randall Tex Cobb. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah. Huh. Uh, tight end Mercedes Lewis. You can't find parts for him. No, no. no it's very expensive. difficult. And uh, OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr. Wow. You got Odell Beckham Jr.'s personality and Aaron Rodgers' personality. That's a good locker room. I don't care what you're saying. Uh, Lazard agreed to a four-year, $44 million contract with the Jets. Those Q-tips are selling all right. And uh, Rodgers has never played with OBJ, but they are friends. And Rodgers has said in the past he'd like to team up. Rodgers will appear on the Pat McAfee Show at 1 o'clock today with news on his playing future, it says possibly. Do you want Pat to kick? Possibly. <laughs> Oh, that would be the greatest day of my life. Yeah, why, yeah, why not? I'd love to see Pat back out there. God, that would be great. Uh, um, and coming up, we've got uh, the fabulous Wilson Sporting Goods Company. We've mm -hmm. got a story about... Uh, oh, they were your competition, weren't they? Oh, yeah, but I mean, hey, that's uh, that's all Plenty right. Plenty for everybody. A2000 isn't a bad glove. Yeah. That's right. They're going to uh, leave you in the dust there, Josh. Me, me. They've come well, out with the, the, airless, old... the airless basketball. How about that? It's pretty cool. <laughs> you really think I'm threatened by this? So... I haven't worked for that company in going on 10 years. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Josh. This might be it for you. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> for your last remark. I don't know. You're an alumnus. <laughs> you should... Uh... Uh, yeah, cool. This is cool. The airless basketball. We'll find out what that means. Also, the real lightsaber from Disney. Oh, this will be mm. great. Doing any welding this afternoon? I've got a cutting torch for you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Will it cut through things? We're going to find out. Also, we have um, avocado uh, in the news, also, and apparently uh, in a crime. Hmm. It's pretty amazing. It ought to be oh. a crime. Uh, we'll find out how you can uh, commit what may be a felony with an avocado when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Scoop. Big scoop. That's a huge scoop. Two. Two. That's not Two a big scoops. blender. Okay. Three. Three. Hey, Three. No, no. You, you're not going to run out of room. No, you're not. not. Yeah, no, no. You're, that's perfect. Uh -huh. There's milk Take right there. Milk and pour it about. Uh, you want to put a little whey protein in there? A little more than that. A little more than that. Uh, yeah, come on. There we go. Right, a little more. All right, okay. that's good. Now load it with Oreos. Yeah. All right. right. We have so we have vanilla ice cream <laughs> don't, in the blender, don't, not in your mouth. Don't eat the Oreos yet. All right. How many you got there? I don't think I've had an Oreo in uh, years. That one and another stack that Is high. Is that an even number? 
Oh, for Did you count them? Sake. I only got there. It's bad luck to mm -hmm. get an odd number Keep of going order. It's bad luck, Chick. Did you All count right, them? that's enough. No, it isn't. Keep going. Shut your hole. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> this is our shake. You're not going to be able to drink it. You're yeah. going to have to eat it with a spoon. That's fine. But we're what is that, 15 Oreos? Oh, this is uh, going to be perfect. It'll go right up to the top. <laughs> Peanutopolis. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> All right. Put a Klondike bar in there. Come on. Throw let's in go. the Klondike what would you bar. Do for a Klondike bar. Mm -hmm. I'd kill some blood. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little it. more milk in. Klondike Come bar's on. in there. Blah, 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 blah. All right. There we go. There you go. That's, there go. Right. That's there good. You go. Just okay. let it go. Oh Keep God, going. Look at that. Look at that. That's heaven. Look, look at that. that. Snickers bar. Look at that. Snickers bar <laughs> looks like it's swirling around yeah. the bottom of a toilet bowl. Yeah. You're putting more ice cream in there? Yes. There you go. Now blend her up there. Oh, one more. Come on. <laughs> At least it's an even number. Okay, right there now. I'm going. <laughs> now, those are the peanuts trying to... Uh, Thank you. Now, Bob, sip that over there by your microphone. Let's hear, uh, hear your I'll, I'll judgment I'll have a taste. <laughs> Tom has to drink it. We though. should market this. Mm. Wow, it smells very good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That is very good. Mm. Tell me this is not good. That is very good. Very chocolatey. See? This is much better than your shit. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Why don't you throw some protein powder in that? So at least you get some protein. And why don't you run up an alley and shake. yell fish? The mean girl star announced her pregnancy on Instagram yesterday. She posted an image of a baby onesie with coming soon written on it. Lowen married financier Bader Shamas in 2022. The 36-year-old actor recently returned to acting, starring in the Netflix film Falling for Christmas and stars in the streaming service's upcoming romantic comedy, Irish Wish. And the Oprah Winfrey Book Club has reached 100 picks. On Tuesday, Winfrey announced that she has chosen Anne Napolitano's Hello Beautiful as the milestone pick. Since 1996, Oprah's book choices have set folks on a journey of extraordinary influence and success, frequent reinvention, and the occasional controversy. It has endured through changes for both Winfrey and the publishing industry. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hey, man, it's Donnie Baker. And the fact remains, there's nothing better than being a VIP. And I don't mean like his dudes on Pervert Rabbit Xanadus. I'm talking about a Bob and Tom VIP. Best thing, you'll never miss another minute of the show. I swear to God, you can hear the show here in the morning. And then because you're a Bob and Tom VIP, you'll get the podcast of the entire show, a 12-month library of podcasts, hundreds of Bob and Tom comedy tapes, and a 60-day video archive of the show. Bob and Tom VIP. You have to get it. It's state law. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh my God! There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Right now we've got Bert Chalice as our guest. <laughs> Did you drive here from? Pacific? Yeah, yeah, I drove over and uh, no longer driving my Yugo. You know, I had you got to, rid of it. Yeah, I got a Yugo for a while because you know I bought a Yugo because I had the coupon. You know, sure. And so, <laughs> not much of a car. You turn up the radio, the car stalls. You know? <laughs> no rear view mirror because nothing will be behind you. Believe me. <laughs> you can actually, you can actually tick off the Amish people. You know, <laughs> they go by and bull whip you. You know. <laughs> Sorry, they don't have horns. Do I got places to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this or not. If you ever get behind the Amish, you know, those horse-drawn carriages, you know, they usually have that orange triangle sign uh -huh. on the back. Mm -hmm. I found out if you fire softball and hit that sign, you dunk the driver. <laughs> You just lose him. That's a great little highway thing to do. That's a nice little trick. Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. Dear Donnie Biker.
Where did you work before you worked for Randy? Man, before I had this job, I had a whole bunch of jobs. I remember one summer I got fired from a car wash because I was really messing with Toby Coon's car. He had me 50 bucks from the docking concert that summer and wouldn't pay up, but still had the nerve to drive through Sonny's car wash where me and Scotty worked. I told Scotty to cover me while I gave Toby's sunroof the O'Donnie Baker Doberman Pancher. I swear to God I did, man. He tried to sue Sonny's car wash, but they said they weren't liable because he forgot to shut his sunroof. Uh -huh. You have to shut your sunroof at the car wash, man. It's state law. I didn't have as bad as the time I dropped one on Scotty's windshield in his oh. first 40 XP. Oh. Did it just for fun. He hit the wipers and it looked like a bad game of hot potato. <laughs> Stop reading the mail and get back to work. <laughs> Shut up, Randy, before I go outside and open your sunroof. I gotta go. We're talking oh. with comedian Rick Schrader. Yeah. I'm a stepfather, too, which I've been for a few years now. And uh, if you're not a step parent, you know, you don't realize the warmth and rewards that you get for the warm, loving feeling. And it's, I hate you. Okay, here's some more money. You know, uh, you know. you're not like my real dad. You know, that's right. You can find me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> track, track down your real deadbeat dad and have him pay for these Barbie accessories. You know. And, Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're just go to Ticketmaster. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. And there's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Ace Cosby. Hey. And joke of the day is on the way. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee, <laughs> and here's Tom Griswold. Chicks at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 what the hell is that? <laughs> I, 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 let's see, a couple cool I'm, things coming I'm, up. I'm having fun. You remember that. Fun? It's good morning for that. Oh, yeah. Fun too. yeah. I had a great time over here. Good coffee morning, What are you too. doing over there? Oh, I'm uh, reading about uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh -huh. God, got, God uh, knows what he's doing. We got uh, some uh, road work coming up here. Willie G. Uh, road yeah, I know. Work. I've been driving. I've seen it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Willie G. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, road work in a shed. That was yeah. fun, Christy. That was a good time. Yeah. I mean, they, do these, those guys just sit around going, hey, you know, I got a funny idea. We've already ruined everyone's life, and this four zip goes, <laughs> what if we close this road, too? I heard it's actually a Truman Show thing just to ruin your life. It is. They're <laughs> working hard to make things better, Tom. Infrastructure, okay. very important. Do they have to do them all at the same time? They yeah, like do them when they have to do them. Okay. Tom. That way they're all obsolete at the same time do in you, two years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> do you two think you're making the situation better or worse? I just, I just would like to see a Money's moratorium. If once you fix the giant interchange, you can't go back and fix it again two years later, okay? If it's they, that poorly designed, why aren't we hanging have, hanging the engineers you know from let's, gallows let's in public? put you in charge of oh, road, God. road repair like we put you in charge of the morning breath golf shirts. How about that? <laughs> well, I, well, fine. I'm in. It'll never get done. <laughs> okay, I want to say Willie G is going to be at the Comedy Barn in Dubuque coming up uh, Friday and Saturday, March 24th and 25th. That'll be a great set of shows. Also, our good friend Greg Warren, March 23rd through the 25th at Dr. Grins in Grand Rapid, Michigan. Did Rap I say Grand Rapid? Yep. Just, They've added uh, one. Rapids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Grand Rapids now. Oh, that's no. cool. Uh, they, uh, they, they, they extended them. And it's also... It's at the <laughs> I said the comedy bar, not the comedy barn. But I bet you the comedy <laughs> barn's a fun place. Yeah, oh, sorry. I, there's a line through it. My fault. Oh. Um, let's see now. Oh. Once again, you know, if you would, were home, may, you could be a writer. <laughs> How about that? Maybe broadcasting right. isn't for No, you. I've made a correction. This, see, this was handwritten by uh, Mr. Godwin's friend, and it looks like it says <laughs> New Bush, Indiana. Oh, yeah, but it's but New But it says New Berg. Tell him I asked him to write it cleaner next time, or right. maybe get a computer and type it for me. Who's your friend that wrote that? Pat? Let's put uh, him on a Pat Conslet. Oh, I love that guy. He's, he's a great guy. He just obviously is the handwriting of a seven-year-old. Um, he's going to be putting on a special charity show tonight that Pat Godwin will be the MC. It's going to be fun. You taking the guitar? Oh, sure. No, oh, all right. He's no, going to do some uh, close-up magic. <laughs> and some shadow puppets. A watermelon what or two. Of course he would take his guitar. <laughs> I, heard he was gonna, I heard he was going to pole vault <laughs> for the crowd. I was That'll be a, an animal pole. shelter benefit. What a great thing tonight in Nor uh, Nor Norberg, no, Newburgh. Son Indiana. of a... Hey. Well, look at this writing. It's, it's, just, it's Sanskrit. Well, that, that, was yeah, that was a private letter to me. You said Newberg 15 times. I remembered it. Why would you have to read it? Why I wouldn't you just remember it? Because my memory is shot. Are there any <laughs> plugs in that big red bag for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. Uh, nope. Oh, wait a minute. You're up here at the top. I thought you quit. Saginaw, I, say I, it. 
I thought you quit comedy and weren't going to do anything else because you've had it with everybody who comes sees you. Chick, some would say I quit comedy uh, about eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, have you heard that they're, they're releasing the 10th anniversary reissue of the Josh Arnold comedy album? Oh, Tom, <laughs> no, no, no. we can talk about this if you want to. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I've done uh, everything I've needed to do. Okay, so it's finally so coming out? The, it Are got... you familiar with the term red tape? <laughs> who yeah. who talks to who now? Yeah, there's a... Uh, it's uh, edited. There's a squeaking wheel. I, I had it edited three years ago, and I'm out now. So um, It's tracked. It's you have a cover and a title? Uh, yes, title. Ready to go. Yeah, What's everything's... The, Tom... Well, may I ask, you, what is the title of your forthcoming album? Half Fat. Uh, love it. I love that title. <laughs> you can't... <laughs> no, I do love that title. You can't pad the bill if you get it done quickly, okay? Okay. I just think it's going to... He's opening up with those uh, Harry Truman jokes. <laughs> Maybe a little dated. Uh, <laughs> um, let's That's see. a great question. I wonder what you have to do next. Uh, Josh Maybe Arnold. Somewhere. Uh, Friday, March 31st at the Dow Event Center in Saginaw, Michigan. Dow. With Patty G and Kostaki Economopolis. Oh, that'll be a great show. It's going to be fun. It'll be fun. Um, and then uh, Saturday, April 1st at the Diamond Joe Casino in Dubuque, Iowa. That's that, just me. Yeah, but yeah. that's a... Well, you got to go from Saginaw to Dubuque. That's right. You uh, driving? I am. You're going to yeah. have to be uh, humping it. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> That'll be great. Well, good I, luck. Uh, I you fired my, uh, my my manager. Okay. You won't be. Uh, <laughs> this is the worst routing since Kenny Tarmac. <laughs> you won't be worth a damn in Dubuque. I, can hope. Oh, I, I have oh, to go to Mason City. Worst nice. routing since that parade in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Right. Never make that turn. Yeah, that, no, no, yeah, never. Have the book never allow the uh, roof book, to be down. Book deposit. Right. Could we, uh, are we done with sports? No, Tom, we've got one of your uh, awful, uh, fascinating stories that only you are just transfixed by. Sporting Goods Company, Wilson. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilson. Lost his mind. <laughs> Sporting Goods Company, Wilson, announced it's created the world's first 3D printed airless basketball. So cool. <laughs> How does it bounce? It's, Not well. It's made of... <laughs> Christy has a question. It's made of uh, <laughs> contemporarily engineered, you know, word, um, by fascinating engineers. You, know, you could be press secretary. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there just BSing. Oh, are you kidding? How do you think I got in, got in and out of college? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Can we get a doctor on the phone? Is it possible for you to have had a stroke? <laughs> and, and, and not known I'm that. going yeah. to the doctor today. Well, ask him well, about ask yeah. him. Okay. stroke. Okay. There's got to be some enzyme. Let's say I went for my hearing test, and as soon as I sat down, I got all the headphones on it went out no kidding because the guy's you know moving his lip, the guy's moving his mouth i'm going i'm hearing nothing you know that well, then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you came to the right place <laughs> well, the machine broke he so. just hands him a, a piece of paper to fail <laughs> <laughs> anyway the company you know there are balls that bounce that don't have air in them i know that the company said it's 3d airless prototype basketball does not need to be inflated because we may never know. No, because it consists of a black see-through lattice with eight panel-like lobes. Well, that makes it crystal it, clear. It, Christy, imagine if, like a a on the inside? If, if a basketball um, uh, uh, had a baby with had a baby with a with a wiffle ball. Okay. But it still has all the bouncy qualities. It's some. So is it really light? Are there little it's, holes apparently, in it? it's the same weight as a regular basketball. That's what the scientists said, and it still has all of the bouncy <laughs> qualities. <laughs> Wait, are there holes in it like a wiffle ball? Yeah, here, here, yeah. It there looks are? like a. It, it's got. What if you get your if, finger? Yeah, wouldn't that affect yeah. the feel? Yeah. And technically, there is air in it. There's, there's, that's air. true. It's but it's not being held within. It oh. can't be deflated because if, it's... If only there was another invention we could use instead of this airless basket. Oh, that's right. We have basketballs already. Yeah, what's wrong with the... Ba oh, my gosh. Does it look cool? Yeah, it it's just... kind of like a... Hair. It's like a, it's got. Uh, it looks sort of like almost like, like a, a golf mesh. ball, like a giant golf ball. No, with it, black. it looks like the top of a microphone. Yeah, in a, yeah, in a like a mesh. Yeah. yeah, the same size. So you can't get your fingers stuck. It looks kind of cool. The holes are real small. I'd like to try it. And they've got these sh sh nice uh, uh, photographs where they've got uh -huh. smoke all around it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> looks like the future. Yeah, the smoke looks all like around it to hi hide the imperfections and. Cut down on questions. Of all people that doesn't <laughs> like uh, contemporary technology, you thrive on it. I keep my hand in. Uh, that's kind of a fun thing. I, I, I can't. I don't think it's going to replace the basketball. Right, right. I mean, this would be good in football. Tom Brady couldn't deflate one of these. Oh.
Oh, That's I right, can... I'm still mad about it. <laughs> Ladies and Cheech. gentlemen, that joke oh. celebrating its 30th year in show business right there. By the way, Chick, one of the things that you dwell on. Yeah, yeah. The, the cheating Houston Astros. There's well, a, thank God we caught them because nobody else in Major League Baseball has there's a, before or a since new, cheated. There's a new book about that then. Boy, the cheating went deep. Really? Oh, yeah. It's and a great you're, story. You're sure everything's true in the book, right? <sighs> yes, I am. Wilson's. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I just think this is, I mean, th this may not ever end up being used, it used for anything. Cool. How much credit. did this cost? How much did this meaningless invention? Are you cost? talking R&D and all that? The whole thing. It's about uh, advancing technology. They're going to have to spend, you're going to have to, if you want to buy one of these, it's $12,000, I bet. No. Are they already on the market? No. But okay. someday when they replace your heart valve, it'll be based on this technology. Uh, I guarantee it. My heart valve? I've already got two new ones. <laughs> 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 yes, but your heart is black. Uh, oh, that's not nice. That's not nice this is just no. this is just cool stuff. Wilson yeah. said the uh, wildly futuristic looking ball showcases the oh, this is the quote. It showcases the shared drive for innovation between Wilson and the NBA. Hey, don't make fun of that. I used to when I was copywriting for I, I used did. to write that very <laughs> <sentence>. <laughs> They make it sound very inspirational. <laughs> yes, yes. And then almost as an afterthought, uh, there will be no changes made to the Wilson NBA official game ball. There you go. Yeah. <sighs> Just in yeah. case so people don't freak out. I think it's a cool th I think it looks cool. Yeah. I'd like to try it. Can't we start the rumor that they're going to use these basketballs for the NBA Finals? Mm -hmm. You can start any rumor you want. Let's do that. I wish they'd go back to the ABA ball. The colorful ball? The beautiful colorful ball. I wonder ball. why they haven't done that. That's, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It is cool, but... And uh, we... Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, I was going to ask that. Do you think it would be... It is distracting? I thought it was, yeah. I think the WNBA has an orange and white ball or something like that. Uh, and, uh, by the way, um, you can... Sorry to bother. This is a nice uh, little plug here. You can uh, go to the Dropping Dimes Foundation and actually purchase... Uh, the licensed ABA balls we got it. We actually have one over here. It's a benefit, Gorgeous. benefit project uh, to help out some of the old ABA guys. Look at that thing. Oh, it's cool. really, really yeah. around. Those are Make so cool. Make a great gift if you have That's a basketball That's an actual licensed, fan in your... licensed ball. I come in with the confidence like I can spin it on my finger, but I just cannot. I just. I used to be able to do that. No, I can't. You, have you dried lately? Yeah. Oh. I can spin that on the tabletop. <laughs> really? Real well. Really? Pass it. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, you almost hit the microphone. Uh, okay, we have a... Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to be joined uh, by Joe Saul Sehi shortly. Uh, and also uh, Allie Breen with Sexy Time. Um, and we have a little bit more in the world of sports we have to cover when we come back. But right now, it's quiz time. I'll start with you, Christy Lee. Okay, Tom Griswold. Sleep number setting, please. 40. 40. 4-0. 4 -0. That's a yeah. uh, that's a soft mattress, my lady. Oh, that's nice. That's Chick three McGee. numbers bigger than your age. Uh, Chick McGee, what is your sleep number? <laughs> 100. Says? I like the firm mattress, Tom. And I've, I've gone over this before. End of story. Eight out of ten couples prefer a different mattress firmness. It's one of the keys to having a mattress you like. You go to that mattress store, you lie down, you're staring up at those Klieg lights in the ceiling. There's some sales guy just off from a smoke break with bad breath. Hi, do you like this mattress? And you go, well, I like it, but she doesn't. The point is the sleep number bed, when you get home, you adjust it to the firmness level that you like. And either side of the bed has its own setting. This is a very simple idea, perfectly executed by the sleep number people. Uh, too hot, too cold? They've got an answer for you there. How about an adjustable back of the bed so you can uh, maybe stop that partner from snoring? It's all happening with the sleep number people. A variety variety of beds to choose from. We'd like you to choose one thing, and that's choose proven quality sleep with a sleep number bed. Every day requires a great night's sleep the night before. You owe it to yourself to get a sleep number bed. They last longer, and they're simply adjustable and better. Find out what I'm talking about by going to the sleep number store. How do you find it? Sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Oh, by the way, their lowest price ever on the famous 360 i10 smart bed. You can save a staggering $1,200. If you've been thinking about uh, getting a bed, now's the time. Once again, it's the 360 i10 smart bed. Get the details at sleepnumber.com slash BT show to find your sleep number store. By the way, this is a special offer subject to credit approval. Details, sleepnumber.com. Tell them the Bob and Tom show sent you. Also, coming up, we have a world record. We have an avocado attack, and it's a felony. Wow. And um, robots in the parking lot. What is that all about? This is the Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom.
Bob and Tom. 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom News Update. Legislation to legalize recreational marijuana for adults in Minnesota underwent a major rewrite yesterday with the addition of new language to regulate and protect the state's industry in low-potency edibles and drinkables. Low-potency products containing THC derived from industrial hemp instead of full-strength cannabis have been legal in Minnesota since last year. Good news for the more than 8 million Americans who use insulin. Another major maker has promised steep price cuts as pressure grows on drug makers and insurers trim the cost of medication that millions of us need to survive. Nova Nordisk says it will slash some of the U.S. insulin prices up to 75% next year. That announcement comes two weeks after rival Eli Lilly said it will drop some of its prices by 70% or more later this year. And Facebook parent Meta is slashing 10,000 jobs, about as many as the social media company announced late last year in its first round of cuts. Uncertainty about the global economy continues to hit the technology sector particularly hard. CEO Mark Zuckerberg calls the cuts tough, but says there's no way around it. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. We got some extra from the Bob and Tom Show. With us in the studio, comedian uh, John Garrett. You have a straight job? I mean, like a normal day-to-day thing? Yeah, I actually do. I'm actually a CPA, believe it or not. Ah, yeah, and um, that spells party. Yeah, it does. Most people find it think uh, CPAs are hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, we're dorks. Uh, big dorks. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and honestly, on behalf of all accounts out there, I'd like to say that we don't all do taxes. Some of us prefer to embezzle. <laughs> it's much more lucrative. I read recently uh, Willie Nelson wrote a song called Whatever Happened to Peace on Earth mm-hmm. as his little protest to the war in Iraq. Mm-hmm. And my immediate thought was, why does he care? It's not like it's his tax dollar being put to use. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the U.S. US government should write a song called Whatever Happened to Willie's 1040. <laughs> There's <laughs> a tax joke for the accountants. Bob and Tom, well meaning, but. Yeah, they're, they're all messed up. More than slightly confused. You know us. We're Amish Bell. No poles, no wires, no phones, no nonsense, no shiny objects. Amish Bell. And now, new from Amish Bell, the Amish answering machine. Hello, Graeber. Are you there? Hello, this is Graeber. I cannot come to the door right now. I'm picking out my wardrobe for tomorrow. Please leave a message when I yell the word beep. Beep! <laughs> Graeber, this is Carl. Listen, I have front row seats to a barn raising. Please get back to me. Goodbye. The Amish Bell answering machine. Battery state electricity not included. Graeber, listen, I know you're in there. Pick up. I said beep. <laughs> All right. Get back to me. Goodbye. Amish Bell, leading you into the 19th century. <laughs> I said beep. I said beep. <laughs> Sunshine. Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. I like to sing and write in the style of Leon Redbone. I've done a number of things in the show. Uh-huh. And here's my brand new one oh. in, the, in the style of old timey guy. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yes. right, here we go. Uh, my glasses on because I'm old now. Oh. And this is a song about what topic? Let it happen. I got a girl, her name is Tess. She tickles me so all my Tess is the best. And she cheers me up like no other girl could. Oh, when Tess tickles me, my Tess tickles feel good. <laughs> Here she comes to that door. She tickles me hard, pins me to the floor. She makes my stomach red. Maybe someday I'll learn. <laughs> oh, I may be laughing, but my, my test tickles burn. <laughs> Sits on top of me like back in childhood. Oh, she has herself a ball <laughs> like a good girl should. <laughs> yeah, my test tickles me. My test tickles feel good. <laughs> She got icy fingers and raspberry kisses, puts her hair on my stomach, and I'm in stitches, breaks me out of my funk like no other girl could. <laughs> oh, when Tess tickles me, my Tess tickles feel good. <laughs> I got 
frozen test tickles. <laughs> Hairy test tickles, <laughs> wet test tickles, as I'm pinned to the cold hard ward. Oh, when test tickles me, my test tickles feel good. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> test tickles. Ah, uh, right. test. Thank you very much. Uh, test. Test. Hunting is, is huge in Michigan. I'm, I don't want to upset any hunters because generally they're very well armed. But <laughs> I am uh, not a hunter. I'm not, I don't get the deer hunting thing. I don't understand it. Mainly for this reason. I think it's unfair. The deer hunting season coincides with the deer mating season. Uh -huh. Anyone know that? The deer just trying to hook up. Yeah. You know, that's not fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, picture yourself. You're at a bar. It's late at night. Last call. <laughs> You're sitting there. Somebody <laughs> sneaks up behind you dressed as a chair. <laughs> right. And shoots you in the head. <laughs> oh. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Hi, this is Bob and Tom 24-7. My name is Jim Gaffigan. I have to go and... Well, I just had a... <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee's at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. With his guitar and his organ. Oh, yeah. There's Josh Arnold. Chick, my gosh, how the hell are you? I am uh, average. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee. And Tom, we have a special guest. And you got to be nice to our special guest and tell them that you're broadcasting. If you say so. Uh, Semi-professionally from the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. Orange insoles. It's not, what did not I say? insoles. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, maybe radio isn't for you. You're a smart guy. You could do almost anything. Couldn't he do anything? Mm -hmm. The orangeinsoles.com sports desk. <laughs> uh, well, I sounded like a true Missourian. A couple well, things. Um, uh, oh, uh, off topic completely. I we like happen sports. to mention this. Uh, oh, did I introduce our guest? No. 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 no, you didn't. No, Tom. Once again, radio, not for you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, our, our guest has a very complicated name to pronounce. It's Joe Saul C. Hi. Did I get it right? Nice job, Tom. Good it's, work. So it's 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 a hymenated, as uh, Donnie Baker would say. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we know who wears the Again. pants. And who's you know, okay. it's not that much to uh, change your name. Just Simmons. How about that? Just, yes. Okay. Uh, Smith. Joe Smith. Joe Smith. We, we, we were talking about Michael Kane who changed his name to Michael Kane, And as I, I had it incorrectly, it wasn't from Citizen Kane. It was, as you said, Chuck, from the Kane Mutiny. I wasn't going to push it. The Herman Woke. Uh, play. I don't um, know if that's how you say his last name either, but yeah, it is. Um, oh, okay. You know, oh, of course him? it is. Yeah, you know, no, I, just, yeah. I, I know his son. He went to college. Oh, okay. oh my um, God. The, the, uh, a lot of kids in okay. college are woke. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and, and most kids in college now are a little too woke. That, that rocketed up the chart to the most pretentious thing today yep. that you've said. Oh, I went right. to college with Herman Woke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, Joe. Is that uh, a flex? His name is, is also Joe. Man, no. I wish we'd kept a list of all those. Um, uh, Joe Saul Seahigh is like, what's the story there? Is that like your wife, your mother? What happened? How did this? <laughs> it's a long story. We were drunk at the time. No, my wife and I, uh, I'm a Catholic kid. And growing up, I, in middle school, like a lot of kids, I had a really tough time. It was so difficult. And uh, we had these people that were teaching our CCD class, our Sunday school class, uh, uh, John and Trina. His name was Boyle. Her name was Holmes. And they told our class they were going to combine their names. Hmm. And I had no filter then, like I, and I still, I'm 55 now, I still have no filter. And I said, why would somebody do something stupid like that? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, because it's not my team or her team, it's our team. Oh. So when I asked uh, Cheryl, my awesome better half to marry me, I said, you know what? Uh, it's not my team or your team. It's our team. So let's combine our names. My, my part's the tough part. The C high is the difficult part. Yeah, oh. S-E-H-Y. Yes. So it used to be just be Joe C high. I, I was Joe C high or say he, as everybody called me, Joe say he, because that was Mm. You know, looking at okay. Well, yeah. if we called you Joe Sehi, we in this building we would go uh, in the news today. Uh, <laughs> Joe Sehi, he, he, oh, oh, uh -oh. like Saquon Barkley, and yeah. we all say Quan Quan Barkley. Barkley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't really Say work he. as well, does it? No. Uh, Why don't you uh, tell us who Joe is? I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> he points to this interview style <laughs> with pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of the best things I do is interview people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joe is uh, responsible for the Stacking Benjamins podcast. Great podcast. Oh. Uh, which is about money. 
Yeah, so Joe here uh, is here today to explain to us all exactly what's happening with the Silicon Valley Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, uh, for the next 22 yes. minutes, please. It is National Hug a Banker Day, Josh. Uh, okay. It is, uh, yeah, the banks will stop collapsing. No. No. Do, you, do you know uh, um, who's on every bill? <laughs> what a great I question. Boy. I'm not going to ask him the easy stuff. We start with a quiz. I know which one's on the 100 because mm -hmm. we named a show. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we well, what if you one. named it after the 50? It would be stacking what? Grants, right? Right. How about after the 5,000? Oh. Is there a 5,000? I, did, I, I didn't know there was a 5,000. Not in circulation bill? anymore. Stacking anyway. Madisons. 10,000 oh. is uh, Sam and P. Chase, right? Or something like that? Yeah. Who, who was on the 1,000? That's a good question. I don't know. I saw a movie recently where they had a ton of one thousand. I think they're only usable by banks, if at all, anymore. Yeah, I think this isn't the isn't the one hundred the, the largest. Biggest. In the movie yeah, Midnight the, Run, he, he goes, "I have money," and he pulls out just a bunch of thousand dollars and he fans them out. Like, oh my god! It is. <laughs> Even in '88, they were still um, Cleveland. It, Grover Cleveland. Oh. Oh, he led the uh, National League in uh, strikeouts. Didn't, didn't they oh. replace? Wait a minute! I, gotta, I wish I knew <laughs> the answer to this. Right. Didn't they replace? Jackson wasn't originally the one on the 20, right? No, it was David Bowie. Was it? Okay, I, I'm sorry. True story. I, I, we're talking money, but, but before we get to this, I wanted to mention... Did you know there was a $100,000 bill at one time? Boy, how'd you like to lose that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Salmon, uh, is that Salmon P. Chase? No, nope, that's oh. Wilson. Wilson? Wilson. The soccer ball? This is Wilson. Ball. Yeah. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> the devil made me do it. Here come the judge. More of that, please. Uh, I would say that was uh, flip light. Believe me, very underrated. Flip you Wilson. think so? I, oh, I thought everybody knew he was pretty brilliant. I thought he was hilarious. He's one of the greatest joke tellers in the history. Absolutely. Yeah. Boy, um, the five hundred dollar bill is a tough one. Did who? you say? Did you say who that was? No, who was it? Uh, uh, John Marshall served as the United States fourth John Chief Marshall. Justice of the Supreme Court. No, yes. that's not right. I thought it was Marshall Dillon. Oh. Barack Obama's on the $10 bill uh, in Kenyan currency. <laughs> Did you guys know that? No. Mm -hmm. Birth certificate. Birth certificate. Joe no, was. Joe no, was. Okay, I'm fun this morning. And I have a good time changed, over there. Then it changed to William McKinley on the $500 bill. Billy Mac. <laughs> they called him. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I was mentioning this this uh, basketball chick. Do you want to familiarize our guests with this really cool thing? The um, I'd rather sit here and listen to you talk. Uh, oh, then I'll tell them. Sporting goods company Wilson announced that it has created the world's first 3D printed airless basketball. The company said the 3D airless prototype basketball does not need to be inflated because it consists of a black see-through lattice with eight panel-like lobes. And Josh described it brilliantly. It looks like the end of a microphone, end of a microphone. all around. Oh. The, but, and apparently it has the same bounciness, if you will. I don't a, know. It, I don't know how it could. The prototype created in collaboration to waste money with manufacturing company EOS. <laughs> Wilson said that while the futuristic looking but pointless ball showcases <laughs> the shared drive for innovation between Wilson and the NBA. It's cool. I, I think it looks cool. I'd like to have one. And it's not. It's not going to replace the basketball we already yet, have. yet yes. arriving at pointless. Chick yeah. Wilson now, is on the hundred thousand uh, dollar bar. <laughs> it's a great candy bar, uh, Bill. But uh, you were right. Chase is on the ten thousand. Sam and P. Chase. Thanks okay. for killing all the momentum we had. In this You're welcome. Show. The reason I was uh, bringing that up is because I also mentioned the uh, the ABA, the famous multicolored basketball, and that is now again available. Uh, the rights for the official ABA ball have been acquired uh, by some good friends of the show. And if you're wondering, yes, it is signed by Slick Pinkham, the commissioner at the time. Uh, and it's from Lana Sports, L-A-N-E, if you, if, excuse me, L-A-N-A, if you know someone who's a huge basketball fan. L -A -N -A? It's, it's cool because it's a benefit for the Dropping Dimes Foundation, which uh, helps out to aging players from the great ABA. So it's All a, right. they're super cool looking. L-A-N-A, -A, Lana Sports, and some good friends of the show were involved in this, and I'd, I'd forgotten to give them the proper plug. Joe Salciha, you're a money man. Do you take part in any sort of... Um Wagering during March Madness? You know what I like to do? What's that? I like to talk about uh, setting up a league where a bunch of finance bros get together and uh, we do sports naked. Oh! 
Oh, okay. We, yeah, yeah similar to the story we had That's earlier. What, I was wow. thinking. Yeah. I, I was thinking about that on the way here. After I heard that story, I'm like, what an opportunity! A bunch of pale, pasty, <laughs> out of shape. No, which team are you on? The growers? On are second. you on the growers Look, or the showers? <laughs> I don't know like what that. what type of show you thought you were on. But we don't oh, talk I'm about no. nudity and things like that. Please, sir. Okay. Decorum. I, I just Lord. thought we'd do the Fosbury flop. Yeah. Uh, in the nude. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to see Josh's eyes real quick. <laughs> that was my, no. my whole goal today. It's an old gray pickleball league. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pickleball league. Chicken I. Ain't what it used to be. Chick and I were uh, big fans of uh, uh, Dick Fosbury. Sadly, died over the weekend. <laughs> a linchpin <laughs> lynch of our childhood. One of the few athletes that you can name that completely changed yeah. a sport. He developed the I backwards a, high jump. And I thought of another uh, another one yesterday. Who? Uh, Billy uh, Screw. He came up with a screwball. Did you know that? <laughs> that is true. Yes. 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 William S. Screw. Uh, okay. And the S also stood for screw. And don't Isn't forget uh, Ulysses Cannonball. That's right. <laughs> revolutionized days at the pool. Yes. Uh -huh. Before it was uh, Mr. Cannonball, people just crawled into the water. <laughs> That's right. It's on Wikipedia. Look it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, you had a dumb story earlier about some <laughs> idiot who's going to develop a naked women's league of That's various... It's not a dumb story. It's Holly Saunders. She's uh, an influencer on Instagram. She used to be a reporter for one of the... Golf channels? I don't yeah. know. Probably. She with ideas like that, I can see why they got rid of her. So she's going to do topless... It uh, <laughs> looks like topless boxing, a pay-per-view of it. I hope they make a ton of money. It's yeah, not for me, not? but... Yeah. It's awful. I'm a pervert. I have no idea. It's interest. awful. <laughs> yeah, if they can't reach Josh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's got the combination of nudity and domestic violence built in. And oh, well, the box. No, it's not. <laughs> and it's not man versus Yeah, it's wait, not a, a, it's a woman not against a, a drunk husband. Thankfully, it's, that I, a woman can be domestically violated by another woman. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, I don't I think suppose so. we can. No. How about now? Joe, did you know you'd be talking about lesbianic <laughs> beatings <laughs> today? Oh, uh, how about. How about naked cannonball for men and women? Because I want to see a guy go off the high board doing a cannonball sans suit. And then get out of the pool and spit water out of his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> that, could, that could hurt. <laughs> Yikes, I went in ball first. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, so let's move forward here. Uh, what have you got over there? We haven't finished sports yet. It's unbelievable. No, you know why? Because we have one of these stupid world records. Puerto Rico has broken the Guinness World Record for the most hair dyed in eight hours. Really? I didn't know Godwin was doing a show there. <laughs> Thank you. Come Come on. On. Patty Puerto Rico. 100, 192 men, Willie, went blonde in support of the Puerto Rican team, which is trying to win the World Baseball Classic. After finishing, as my mother would say, twice Come on. as runner-up, <laughs> the team's players first dyed their hair blonde ahead of the 2017 WBC as a joke. Unexpectedly unleashing a dying craze in Puerto Rico. I don't mean end of life. I mean dying mm. hair. Uh -huh. uh, that left pharmacies and beauty supply stores bereft of hair dye. Not only that, <laughs> but they ran out. Mm. <laughs> More than 200 men who showed up for the mass bleaching event. A Guinness World Record adjudicator was able His to religion verify, has nothing to do with it. Uh, verify the record at the event. <laughs> <laughs> that is an unfortunate word, isn't it? Yes. And, yeah, that is just a bad. Uh, it's, it's, so this this is one of those things where the te the team did it a few years ago, and now it's right. It's their good luck charm. Yeah, just and, shave uh, your head. Well, they your say head. you know it's true. Blondes have more runs. So uh, we'll wish them blondes, the best of luck. Blondes have more runs. <laughs> That's not true. Oh. <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that a TV commercial? Of, yeah, blondes have more fun. Sure, yeah, of course. Blondes. What was that for? Blondes was that for? Uh, I'm sure it was probably some, like sun in like or Clairol. something. Hair yeah, dye. hair dye. Did you ever use that, uh, Tom? Sun no, in on no, your hair? Yeah, Pat, what's, you what is in? the one you use? I used uh, L'Oreal's Medium Mesh Brown 5A. I switched to just for men because it's cheaper. Medium brown. Because it's cheaper? Yeah. I'm trying to save this year. Uh, does it look any <laughs> worse? I a little bit worse. It's cheaper, yeah. So, it, well, what does a thing of hair dye cost? Mm. Huh? About nine, ten bucks. What is just? So what are you saving? Cost? A dollar? Yeah. Mm. I go to the do <laughs> dollar store and get it. Ace, you want right. to take this one? <laughs> The dollars add up. That's right. That's they why Joe's here. Joe can tell you that. Joe's here. Joe's here. If he saves that dollar, that's right. just yeah. imagine. And do exactly. And uh, Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. It's dollar twenty-five. <laughs> dollar twenty-five tree. Dollar tree went to dollar twenty-five yes. tree. Yes. Buck and a quarter Son. tree. <laughs> Son of a gun. Are they changing the name? 
they changed. I noticed they took out the sign that says everything a dollar and just everything's taken off there. Just oh. Please tell me you you went up to the manager and said, hey, what's the deal? <laughs> I thought everything was a dollar. They took everything off. Well, then they came out with the $5 store, right? Oh, they have that Five now? below? Oh, yeah. that's it. Mm -hmm. Five below, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's five dollars. I below. thought that I thought five below was like where you get your equipment for hiking in cold temperatures. <laughs> I, I, I did <laughs> miss the whole point of the story. I, I the whole thing. <laughs> Sleeping bags, <laughs> That's right. the fireplaces. <laughs> How cold is going to be? Twenty. Oh, you want the above? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That oh, store's down the store. street. Uh, no. yeah. Pat, I mean, it's worth an extra buck. It's your, it's your face, hair. your hair. You yeah. Get, it's, it's that's the money maker. It probably there. lasts longer yeah, too. I don't, I don't think cheap and will will make your hair fall out any faster. Well, I have a lyric in the song that uh, rhymes better, so I just okay. that's why I change, so I'd be realistic. You have a song about dyeing your hair? I do indeed. Oh, I'm Patty we... Cash. Here we go. Uh, I dyed everywhere, man. I colored all my hair, man. Just for men down there, man. I dyed everywhere, man. Head hair, chest hair, arm hair, leg hair, ear hair, nose hair, lip hair, chin hair, neck hair, back hair, belly hair, brow hair, that hair above my ass crack, I swear. Toe hair, shin hair, cheek hair, ball hair. I dyed everywhere. Come on. I dyed everywhere, man. And I don't have hair to spare, man. Black is cold down there, man. My pubes don't have gray hair, man. Like a drama instructor, man. Yeah, I died everywhere, man. All right, good night, everybody. Uh, thank you, Johnny. Oh, thank you. man. The man in black pubes. <laughs> uh, nice little tribute to Johnny Cash. That's a good song, Pat. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Patty G, by the way, special uh, charity show tonight. Once again, it's on Newburg, Indiana, near Evansville, Indiana. Benefits the animal shelter down there. Should be a great time tonight only. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, be sure to go see Pat. I'm not sure how you get the tickets. but um, I do a lot of shows for charity laughs. You do? Uh, oh, boy, that got nothing. <laughs> not even a charity laugh. <laughs> oh, oh, charity laughs. I don't think anybody heard what you said. I thought you said laughs. Everybody heard me. Everybody, uh, everybody heard what you said. What happens when I'm quicker than everybody I work with? Uh, <laughs> Is that what that was? It's tough. <laughs> He's in the next hour right now. Oh, okay. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, premature ejaculation. Oh. We have, um, coming up, we have more sports. Is that nope, correct? Nope. Oh, we're we have finally one done? more world record. But I'm going to do it. We yeah. have, Christy's going to do the world record. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. th thank you very much. Christy Lee. Sure. Um, you want to give me the teasers then? Um, yeah, we have the world record coming up. We have Coors Light in the news with an interesting uh, product. The silver bullet? Yep. We have an avocado attack. Oh, my God. Yeah, attack of the avocado. Watch out. Yeah, that's the why hasn't a real Coors, lightsaber. Uh, the silver bullet Coors Light, why haven't they ever brought on board the most famous man with a silver bullet, the Lone Ranger? Because it's over a century old. <laughs> <laughs> why don't they have the Zapruder film? <laughs> Why don't they have the Zapruder film and then you hear a silver bullet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you could either have Patrick Mahomes be your sports yeah. person. Yeah. Or, you know, but we could have the kids and we could go with the silver bullet. The That's silver awesome. bullet. The better idea. Yeah, go with a cartoon character, the Lone Ranger. Mm, Tonto. Of course, played by the great Jay Silverheels. Abe Lincoln, the silver bullet. <laughs> So these aren't really good marketing ideas, is what no, you're saying? No, they're not. I'm okay. just getting them out of the way so people can really create. That's okay. <laughs> uh, right. right now, I want to remind you that uh, perhaps you're getting that phone call from your taste buds. It's going, hello, uh, we're getting bored. How'd you get this number? Uh, <laughs> if your taste buds are getting bored, here's a great idea. Hello Fresh. How does this work? Well, Hello Fresh sends you the box of food. Oh, they've done all the shopping. They've done all the measuring. They give you the recipe cards. You put it together. You've got great restaurant quality food, and you helped. How about this new stuff from Hello Fresh? The Dietitian win recipes include uh, stuff like, well, they're under 700 calories, made with less sodium. You can power up with protein smart options like the one pot pork and black bean chili or creamy Dijon dill chicken, each with 30 grams or more of protein. What are you working on over there, Willie? Check out the bruschetta chicken with a mozzarella crust, bacon, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. HelloFresh sends you 10 ingredients. Put those together in six easy steps. In just over a half hour, you have this delicious chicken dinner that you made at home with help from HelloFresh. Groceries going up, up, up. And HelloFresh, uh, they buy in bulk, so you save. And, uh, of course, this is a lot cheaper than getting takeout. Pre-portioned ingredients, you do the cooking and have a great time with it. Restaurant-quality food. Sign up today, 60% off, plus free shipping with a special code. That code is BTSHOW60. That's BTSHOW60, HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW60. Once again, BTSHOW60, like Bob Tom Show 60. HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW60. Coming up. 
we are going to eventually be talking with Allie Breen with Sexy Time. Uh, we also have uh, Joe Saul Seahy right over there. With we'll, money we'll time. Talk, we'll, we'll talk money, money time. time. I like that. <laughs> yeah, money meets sex. Money yeah, time. Well, that's been a that's lifelong illegal. thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll find out that and more when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Sure, yeah. Well, my name's Batman, but you can call me Bob. And when I see the boy wonder, I just say, Yo, Rob, I used to wear a cape and do the leotard bit. Now I'm wearing a hoodie and a jeans because I don't give a, I guess I can't say no, that. That's okay. I don't uh, give an I underwear drawer. <laughs> 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 I used to bust my butt all day fighting crime. Now I'm rocking the Bobby Tom show when I sing my rhymes. And I can uh, turn any crowd into a crazy old mom. Cause I'm Batman. But you can call me Bob. <laughs> well, I'll tell you all the story that once happened to me. Well, me and little Robin, we were just cruising down the street. We are in the Batmobile. And, uh, we had the lights turned low. We had a, a six-pack of bat beer on ice, so we were good to go. And, uh, <laughs> with the radio blasting out our old theme song, Robin kept on passing me that big old bat bong. I took a couple of hits, and the next thing I know, there was a, a cop pulling us over to the side of the road. He said, uh, uh, hey, what's your name, boy? You look like a slob. I, I said, I'm Batman, officer, but... You can call me Bob. <laughs> well, I turned to little Robin. I said, hey, buddy, it's getting kind of late. I'm going to find a date before I start to hallucinate. So we found this little place. We went inside, and they carted Robin at the door. They asked about his age. He just lied. <laughs> He's like 13, I think. I'm not really sure how old he is. <laughs> well, I went up to the bar and ordered myself a little... Coke and Jack, and that's when I felt a strong hand on the back of my back. And I turned around and I dropped my drink because there was this girl there in a the mink, and she was about she was about the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, I think. And I introduced her, Rob, and I said, "Hey, this little guy's name is Rob." But... <laughs> well, I'm the Batman, baby, but you can call me Bob. <laughs> well, I promised to behave, and we went back to the Bat Cave, and she took one look at my place and. Well, she started to rave, and then she gave me a nice kiss, and she said, I'll be right back. I'm just going to slip by some of these clothes for a minute so we can relax. Uh -huh. So she left the room for a minute, and uh, well, I threw in some tunes. I opened up my new multi-million dollar skylight so we could look at the moon. But when she came back in, well, she had this big old whip in her hand. Turns out she's a crazy, psychotic cat woman. She started <laughs> chasing me around my house, and she was screaming that she wanted me dead. Had to whip out my batarang. <laughs> hit her right in the head. She went out like a light. I said, oh, man, what a night. Had to drag her down to the police department where they locked her up tight. And as I was leaving, the sergeant looked at me, and he said, hey, son, you've done a fine job. I said, I know. I'm Batman. But you can call me Bob. <laughs> yes! <laughs> fantastic. Wow. That was fantastic. That was great, man. Thanks. Bob Schneider is our guest. So she leaves him in his room for two hours. Wow. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. yeah. So she brings him out and he says, "Can I play with my trains again?" And she says, "Well, okay. Have you learned your lesson?" He says, "Yeah, I think so." So he she goes back to the kitchen and he's playing with his trains. And then she hears him say, "Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for riding with us today. Hope you had a pleasant trip." <laughs> and the rest of you boarding the train, hope you have a nice day with us today. And those of you pissed off about the two-hour delay, talk to the bitch in the kitchen. <laughs> Bye.
Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. Mark Marin is our guest. He's part of the Stand Up Eddie Tour. I went to see a show a couple weeks ago. Great comedian. Uh huh. Went to see the show, and in the second row, there was a, a bachelorette party. Oh, mm. and I'm, worst. I, and I'd never the seen worst. I'd never seen this before. <laughs> But a woman, Mark, you've, you've, you've Mark seen, got mad. you've seen no, the, you've I seen the arrow seen. through the head yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. God is my witness. Dildo. Oh yeah. Of course. Dildo. Huge course. dildo yeah. through the head. Anatomically correct. Going sideways or forward and back? Uh, going sideways. Which, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Left on the entire show, including when she went up to use the facility. Ah. Uh, and of course, always funny. The, the Hard to get through a revolving door. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, see, Barack doesn't have to put up with it. He doesn't. I yeah. wish I didn't. I don't understand it. It's like, you, you, do you know who I am? You got two bachelorette parties. You have nowhere else to go than to watch an angry Jew work through his pain. <laughs> this is what a good. You know that your, your your future husband is across town watching a Vietnamese transvestite pop a ping pong ball out of whatever it is she has down there. <laughs> Probably getting a disease by proximity, uh -huh. and you're here watching me work out my problems with my mother. Oh. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of an act. That is an act. Harlan Williams is here with us. You ever talk in your sleep, though? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you want me to camp over tonight? <laughs> was that there like a know. subtle invitation? Uh, yeah, is that what it was? I don't know. You need a place to stay? Is that what you're trying <laughs> to hint at? I'll lay on your new shag carpet. Bob's got a nice place. Here's what happened the other night. I, I wake up in the middle of the night. My girlfriend is crying her eyes out, man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, baby, what is wrong, baby? She's like, you were talking in your sleep last night. <laughs> oh, and I'm no. like, I'm like, well, what did I say? She said, you said it's over, you big greasy freak. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at her right in the eyes, you know, very lovingly, very lovingly, and I said, baby, no, 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 I, I wasn't asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you big greasy freak. Well, let the door hit you him. in the beat. No, no. Yeah. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. About the pups. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. He's over there in the music room. There's Josh Arnold. Hello there. Ace Cosby's here. Howdy. Got that joke of the day already. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom, and we have a special guest in the studio. Let's be sure to tell him that you are sitting at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk in the orangeinsoles.com sports chair. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, we have finished our sports cast, alas. That's right. No, not really. Uh, at long last, I should say. Oh. We have another sports story from Christy Lee. Oh, did I, I mention that Joe oh, Saul Sehi is here from yes. um, the uh, podcast, which is known as Stacking Benjamins. It's about saving your money. We'll talk to them about that in just a second. But, Christy, you have a sports story? I do. Stupid world record. <laughs> a Texas radio DJ has broken the Guinness World Record for the longest career as a radio disc jockey. Is that right? Ms. Mary McCoy was officially verified as the title holder what, in February. What, her husband is the DJ? <laughs> oh, Josh, I'm going to... With a career spanning 71 years and 357 days. Christy, you haven't read my book, Women in Radio... Changing the channel. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? How long has she been on the air? 71 years, 357 days. She will be on the air 72 years on April 20th of this year. Bet she still sounds younger than it Diane Ream. <laughs> well, that's a funny joke. <laughs> Is she still with us? Yeah. Oh, okay. The 85 year old beat the previous record holder by more than three years and has no intention of giving up the job anytime soon. Anybody know this one? I want to tell you about Texas Radio and the Big Beat. I like it, whatever this is. I don't know. It's a great song from the Doors. <laughs> Comes out of the Virginia swamps, cool and slow, with money and precision. 
It makes no sense, of course, if uh, well, I'm not singing. It's the Virginia Swamps and Texas Radio right. on the Big Beat. It's, um, I can't sing. It's a great song. I just talk. It's nice. from L.A. Well, he starts singing. It's from L.A. Woman. Never heard that song? Texas Radio and the Big Beat. No. You should know about Texas, Joe. You're from Texarkana. Right there on the border. I live 800 yards from Arkansas. Okay. Yeah. They talk about the wall. A lot of people say that's where the wall, maybe. No? Too soon? <laughs> really? Between Arkansas and Texas. <laughs> Texas. I have slept. I slept in Texarkana. You you know about uh, Arkansas. People. You uh, like so their So we're done with Mary? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what now? And so cut. we're done with Mary? Okay. Yes, let's be done with Mary. No, I say congratulations to her. That's quite 85 a 85 years old, still on the air six days a week. That's awesome. She's still working. Yeah, Mary, <laughs> she does yeah, Mary, a two-hour yeah. country classic show on yeah. K-Star Country in Conroe, yeah. Texas. I hear you can see her doing a live <laughs> appearance at uh, Golden Corral at 3.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's the post-dinner show. Yeah. Special. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, yeah, we... We're she all... takes requests by telegram, by the way. <laughs> she got to meet Elvis when she was, like, 15. I bet they bang. Oh, oh 15. Yeah, I, yeah, that, I had the joke before you said her age. No, no, no. I think, I think you're right. No, right. Elvis. Yeah. 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 A little bit too old for yeah. yeah. Hey, laws are different in Germany. Do you Thank remember you. when you were, uh, you did a promotional announcement for our station in Arkansas? Remember that? The sports team? Oh, sure, of course. Yeah. Yeah. They're a chant uh -huh. there, the Woo Pig Suey chant? Yeah, I am. Oh, I am. Yeah. I, Razorbacks. I am not good at the Suey chant. I'm no, sorry. no, well, let's, let's let uh, Joe Whoa. judge. How's that? Oh, Big uh, Suey. That's All right. right. That's pretty good. good. Yeah, my daughter went there. Close. My money went there. My money went to the university. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, Tom, go ahead. Well, we think we have recordings of me screwing it up. I. What? Yeah, yeah. I, um, oh, there are. Yeah. I do. I was not good at it. I'm, I admit it. Need more practice. <clears throat> um, you I sort of are the opposite of a cheerleader. You don't like it when people do it. Oh, pixie! Is that good? <laughs> and cut. Yeah. It hurt my hey, head. can we go back to the Elvis and 15-year-old jokes? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, wow. So, uh, we, here, here's a little bit of it. Uh, th these are the, are these the outtakes? Okay, this is when I did this. I'm sorry. Um, you know, chick. Woo, pig suey. <laughs> you know, chick. Woo, pig suey. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I, 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 uh, wow. Can wow. you do, do me another one, Joe? You should do that at the 50 yard line. Oh, it, to the. Yeah. Oh, pig suey. Nice. Yeah, I think it's better when there's a group. Of yes. course. Oh, well, yeah. uh, but uh, you, you but are feel, indeed from uh, Texarkana. Well, so. I feel weird doing that, though, because I'm a, I'm a Michigan State Spartan, so I feel uh, like I'm yeah, in the wrong place when mm, I do that. But, stealing valor. But you got to support yeah. your kid's school. I know I how do. that feels. Yeah. Woo, I think Spartans. I did, though, Christy. I think I did. I think a lot of checks. Yeah. <laughs> I think I supported that. But that is beautiful country. I don't know if you've been to Northwest Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, everybody there says, if you love it, don't tell anybody. <laughs> you know? Just it's a good idea. keep it the way it is. Mm. Very, very, it's very gorgeous. Good. I ate at the uh, waffle house there. Tom's first experience at a Waffle House. Excellent. I was very disappointed because I wanted pancakes. <laughs> well, what's right. that What's that Gaffigan Pancake. joke about Waffle House? It's 3 a.m. Still time for another bad decision? <laughs> 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 yeah. Waffle House is our main sponsor. Oh, oh, we'll be back with a, another uh, Waffle House sports update. <laughs> <laughs> I wrecked first another show. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was delicious. No, I was... Uh, and covered. See yeah. you, Joe. Nobody does hash browns like a Waffle House. I was driving to Dallas where Willie and I met and saw Eric Clapton. God, it was a great show. Cool show. And uh, I was driving there and I stopped. He didn't give a speech to the crowd. Crowd, did he? Oh, no, this was, this no. was pre certain yeah, views. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. uh, the, <laughs> the larger point here is I was in Texarkana. You considered that out of the country, didn't you? <laughs> he kind of yeah. 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 Very exotic locale. Very. But I, I had never been to a Waffle House, and it was, I'd been driving all day. It's great. It's you probably hadn't been by yourself that long in what? Well, I, it's, yeah, years? I wasn't. I couldn't take an airplane because I had an eye issue. At the I time. can't imagine how jumpy you were during this whole trip. Oh, just like over vigilant, but then you what? <laughs> I can just see. It. He was. That's the basis from Los Lobos. Check yeah, that out. It looks just like Lewis Black, little doesn't he? It was fun. We had a good. I, I had a good time, and I, I had a nice, nice waffle. I didn't realize that Waffle House was limited to waffles. I thought they might, you know, expand a little bit, have pancakes too. Oh, you no, have got you get eggs. some eggs at the waffle. Yeah, I get there you eggs. Go. At sure, the but no, sure. you can't get. I don't think they have. You mean, toast is it, uh, they call it for the land lubber, like they do in a seafood <laughs> restaurant? Get you a cheeseburger, right? Oh, 
for you, pancake lover. Wow. Uh, <laughs> flappies, they call you for yeah. flapjacks. I prefer, I honestly prefer pancakes. Well, I you feel like you, know, you, you are a flappy. I feel like you like waffles because it's kind of the you know gated community of the pancake You're house. Right, you it's can put got, things in different so pockets. <laughs> it's yeah. got a big <laughs> fence. People can't let you in. I they have, they will take have, that into consideration. You have to have a special tool to make a waffle. Right, you can't just put it in a pan. Mm -hmm. So it's complicated. Yeah. yeah. You could spend an extra ten, twenty thousand dollars getting set up for waffles. Mm -hmm. Has anyone designed a waffle in such a way that when you pour the syrup in, it it only fills certain areas? Look, um, okay. I think you're going to still have to use your hand. For I don't that. like where you're going. Yeah, is this like a gerrymander joke? <laughs> Essentially, yes. Oh, Can I have the white flight waffle with uh, <laughs> a side of urban white? <laughs> Wow. And some gentrification potato. <laughs> oh God. Not great. Okay, so sorry. Uh, when we come back, we're going to try to rescue the show. Oh, we're coming back? Yeah, we have, uh, okay. we're going to finally get to one uh, news. Is that correct, Kristen? Sure, why okay. not? Okay, we, we've had our world record for the oldest DJ. Good for her. Yeah. 72 years on get the air. Yes, 85 <laughs> years old. Give yet, she started when she was 12. Hang it up. By the way, she's had fewer program directors than we have. <laughs> That's not kind of an inside, inside joke. Inside radio comedy. <laughs> but the but truth. Seriously, she's been at that same radio station the whole time, too. It's not like she bounced around. Around. So that's Think a of that. real I bet world she, that's a real she record. She sounds like this, and everybody thinks she's, she's actually so very pretty. Cute. Yeah, she is very pretty. Uh, she's I very did pretty. hand stuff with Neil Sedaka. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs are in the rain, my ass. Oh, I slept Texas with every Radio Hank Williams fame. there ever was. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I'm coming after you for. <laughs> I stole Karen Carpenter's lunch. <laughs> oh, we're coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got a comment? Her email is Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. More Bob and Tom next. State law. There we go. I hear. I hear it right now. That is the uh, sound. Oh yeah. The sound oh, of the yeah, band. Baby. Here come One, the mummies.
Okay. Track, track down your real deadbeat dad and have him pay for these Barbie accessories. You know. And... Bob and Tom, 24-7. Uh, was he a good dad? I don't know. My dad grew up like pre-Oprah Winfrey. So mm -hmm. he's like an old school guy. He doesn't know how to like be like, look, son, I love you. You're not doing well in school. Let's work this out. All Instead, right. I'd be watching TV. And this is why he would convey that thought. He'd just come walking in and just go, stop. <laughs> and, then, and then, then he would walk out. Uh -huh. Like, that one was going to motivate me. Like, oh, gee, you know, Dad, I never looked never, at it that way. Never thought of it that yeah, way. Let me, uh, yeah, let me, ding, the bell goes oh, off yeah. over your head. Oh, he was hilarious. Oh, oh study. Okay. He, he used to try to train the dog like that. We got this dog. He was, like, trying to teach him how to sit. And it's like he's starting off calm. Like, the first few minutes, he'd just be going, all right, sit. Come on, sit. <laughs> sit down. And like literally like five minutes later, he's just like, you're going to get over there. You're going to sit down. The dog's literally like, you know, walking in circles, peeing on the rug. We're like, okay, I don't know what you want, but I know I'm not doing it. You guys can't see the camera, but Christy just... Just, I have very like she was small getting hands. ready to eat a giant Subway sandwich. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Yeah, by the way, Christy, I, I think maybe the reason it's been a while since you had a date is if that's your standard, <laughs> we're going to need a horse. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. No. Did you see her Did hands? See yeah, it? yeah. She, 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 was, gonna, she, she is very well like for she herself. Holding, she, she was about to drop whatever she was imagining because the grass was so wide. I was thinking of a sausage roll. Yeah. Oh, well, Not okay. a penis. Well, all right. Show, show us how you hold the penis. <laughs> <laughs> Do the penis hold, because they... now we're going to get rested again. Stop it. Depends on if it's one hand or two. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass. Coming up. All right. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the All right. news desk. Hi, Chick. There's Pat Godwin. Hi, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chicky. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold's over there. Here yo. I'm Chick B, and here's Tom. Apparently, there's a revolution afoot oh, about? in the office pool. We'll get to that in just a second. Joining us in the studio, financial guy, Joe Saul Seahigh. He has a podcast out there, and it's called Stacking Benjamins. Uh, reference, of course, to um, uh, the Benjamin Franklin <laughs> on the bill could be, could be, could be misconstrued by some. <laughs> oh, um, you're, you're killing people named Benjamin? Um, your top five Benjamins, go ahead. My top, 
My top five Benjamins. Yeah, who are your fa- most famous Benjamins out there? Oh, boy. Uh, Benjamin Button. That's Richard the only Benjamin. one I can think Richard of. Richard Benjamin. I'm going to go Benjamin. I need some help, guys. Benjamin, Benjamin Moore Franklin. has helped a, many paint. a home. Benjamin, Benjamin Moore. Sure, Moore. Very Benjamin Franklin. Quality paint. <laughs> ben Bradley. Mm-hmm. Washington Post. Who would you say, Christy? Ben. Benjamin Franklin. Well, sure, he's got to be up there. Yeah, right? yeah, it was that, like a, that, that's the one we're launching off no, of. No, uh, that's the fourth president. Yeah. Got to mention here. Gentle Benjamin. Uh, 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 one of my second favorite uh, pair. That's right. I'm doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Benjamin. Oh, thank you very much. That might be my favorite. Ben Dover. <laughs> no, now that's comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's doing comedy here all week. Look at he's, Joe. He's, all week. he's the funniest guy in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's comedy. all downhill from Ben there. Affleck. Oh, there we go. I'm a fan, yeah. yeah. Um, That's Boy, he's got a hog, doesn't he, huh? Ben Stiller. There's a, you know, he's a very very good sure. guy. Very funny. Benjamin Bailey, host of Cash Cab. Is Benji a Benjamin, the dog? Benji the dog. <laughs> um, I always heard that was a she, too. <laughs> oh. The only movie that made me cry. Which one? Uh, Benji. Benji. Benji the Hunted or Benji, <laughs> oh, Benji the Hunted? When, oh. when he got trapped in the bank, I was like, no. <laughs> oh, oh. No. Did you see, you see the updated Benji the Cocaine Dog? <laughs> I have not seen Benji Cocaine Dog yet. No. Well, there's uh, there's uh, Not So Gentle Ben. Oh, yeah. he's all messed up, uh, literally. Uh, that actually leads to an interesting news story uh, from Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. It does? I think so. Uh, did you see this thing about this soap opera star who... <laughs> Obviously, has fallen on hard times, or allegedly has fallen on hard times. Mr. Forbes March, a soap um, actor who did stints on One Life to Live, All My Children, and As the World Turns, was arrested in Hudson County, New York, charged with grand larceny for the alleged theft of used cooking oil from a diner. Oh. Have you heard about this? Larceny! No. The cooking oil has an estimated value of more than $1,000, according to the Ulster Police Department, and allegedly was siphoned by March and a second man, Oscar Gordado, from a storage container owned by a company called Buffalo Biodiesel. The tank was located behind Michael's Diner, an Ulster restaurant, Restaurant? Restaurant. <laughs> I like restaurant. You know, what, uh, you know what Dickie Dick and I like to do? We like to go to the restaurant and uh, That's right. yeah, we order the big bunch of food sure. and then what do we do? We steal all the napkin rings. That's right. And That's we okay. use them to play and I, bottle talk. And I say, where's the restroom? And I'm out of there. You How bad do you have me? to be to steal cooking oil? I, this is a big business. They recycle it. And, but I mean, this poor what? guy is a... Yeah. When he's he's one of these real good looking actors and he's in a bunch of soap operas. <laughs> one of these fancy guys. Uh, you probably seen him. He was he was, was in a road cop? road show of Grease. <laughs> I, I, I like. Oh, that's who that was. Okay, yeah. I, Complicated shoes. He's got a really slick lawyer. Um, uh, I, this is I had heard of the other soap, soap opera thief. Oh, Susan Lucci. She stole America's heart, didn't she? Yeah, she did. For sure did. First lady of daytime. Television. I love her. I follow her on Instagram. She's so sweet. You do. This is I a do. sad, sad <laughs> crime. Susan Lucci is a witch. She is that not. Is trying to pass as a human She being. just had some heart surgery. Uh, She's a big advocate I for the American know. Heart Association. I'm She's a sweet to lady. She's a lot of work. Uh, 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 Could we move forward? Please? Susan Lucci. Can I tell you how happy I am here? <laughs> just hearing sure. You know what? You're the one. I, I am I am happier than Chick McGee on Amazon with Tom's credit card. Oh, <laughs> that's how happy that's I am. A happy, that's, that's boy, happy. that's a happy yeah. man. That is. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> Joe Saul Seahigh is here with us. You have your podcast, as I mentioned, Stacking Benjamins. Who's your next guest? Uh, Kara Goucher is on today. She's an uh, uh, NBC commentator now. She was one of of uh, the United States' best distance runners ever. Sadly, uh, she was involved. Um, there were some big sexual allegations against her coach, Alberto Salazar. Uh, he was banned for life from any USATF, uh, United States uh, track and field events, uh, Olympic events, uh, world championships, and she discloses on her show and elsewhere yesterday and today that sadly she was she was the athlete. Oh. That, um, yeah. Uh, but we talk, we, t- we, we, we usually don't go into that type of stuff. Uh, no, no, just, uh, but I'm glad you brought it up here, Joe. <laughs> 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 Appreciate it.
Let's see if I can bring the Bob and Tom show down. Uh, Let's see if I can just uh, just, uh, just, just, just deflate the <laughs> deflate the mood. Good lord! Uh, but you know, there's lots of when we think about sports and money. You know, you're talking about Aaron Rodgers later. You talk about all these sports. You don't think about distance running mm -hmm. and money. And we go into Nike Athletics and just all these shoe companies and all the money involved in something that you know we don't think of when we think of sports. We're wow. we're busy thinking about. You know, uh, people designing nude leagues or whatever sure, yeah. the headline was yeah. earlier. She was a uh, University of Colorado. Yes. Go Buffs. A uh, bu buff. Uh, yeah. per speaking of buff, we got sports in the buff with Chick McGee. Oh, are you going to be in the buff? Naked league. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I was telling you about that okay. lady starting the topless league. Yeah, I just think that's ridiculous. I think it has a place, certainly. Here's something you might want to invest your money in. Coors Light releasing beer flavored popsicles. Really? Brand announced it's Coors. Hey, give me all one of them popsicles. <laughs> hey, what could go wrong with that? <laughs> the mm. brand announced it's Coors icicles are inspired by the flavor and refreshment of an ice cold Coors Light. Mm. The popsicles will be available for a limited time during March Madness. While the treats do not contain alcohol, oh, come on. fans must still be 21 or older to purchase. Great punishment for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine giving a kid a non-alcohol beer-flavored popsicle? <laughs> this tastes terrible, Daddy. <laughs> well, if they say it tastes great, you got a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I like it. Do you remember a few years ago that happened at a Detroit Tigers baseball game? A dad, his kid was, was thirsty, and he gave him a mic. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Dad, not knowing Mike's Hard Lemonade was hard, hard wow. lemonade. Oh. Yes, and Ooh. Dad got in a bunch of trouble. Oh, no. I Imagine mean, I can see how you could light. make that. I, I kind of can see I kind of could, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Not a paying lot attention. Of... You're not aware. Yeah, well, a horrible yeah. parent. Yeah. All, sure. you're neglectful. And then Dad gets madder because kids being all weird after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to get a hold of some of these. Coors sickles and see what they taste like. All right, we'll get you some. I mean, it sounds ghastly. Does anybody drink beer for the taste of the beer? I love the taste of beer. I, I, I really do. I yeah. know people that love the taste of beer. Uh, all kinds beer. of beer. Do you like IPA? Uh, some, I, but I'm I'm like a I'm a cheap beer guy. I like uh, I like just uh, I grew, my dad would drink Bush and Bush Light growing up, and so that's what beer tastes like to me when he would give me a sip at the barbecue. Oh, cool. I loved it. Is that the only thing I had to do with any uh, Bush at all? <laughs> What's that? Oh. Him? No, he, he's trying to get a. He was a, in the bush. A joke that's about what I mean. Oh, he's Vietnam? in country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what he said. Your father, his, uh, his father was a badass. Really hard to Vietnam combat veteran. Sure you be careful. Was. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I want. I want to try one of these. Do you think you'd like this, Willie? Uh, maybe he has like a, put this in a Bloody Mary for me. That sounds kind of nice. That's oh. a little garnish. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Do you ever have that? A little sidecar with your Bloody Mary? Usually. So you'd put the salad. popsicle like with the stick up? Yeah. That's an interesting idea. Oh. And then the stick, you can take, put a pickle on there, put some uh, Cuba cheddar cheese on there, some bacon on top. <laughs> it's like an architectural it, thing. Holy it's hell. all about You're presentation. You're on down the road. Yeah. yeah. Garnish it. Yeah, sounds good to me. You charge a lot of money for that. Could you, um, would, uh, would regular beer freeze? Yes. Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah. So you could make you could make you could like use a decent like a high end beer and make a hopsicle with. Uh, You've never had a beer slushy? Come on. <laughs> Just telling you. Awesome. No, well, yeah, yeah, cold beer's the best. It's not. <laughs> My refrigerator gets really, really cold in the back, and sometimes the beers will get slushy. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not as good as just a regular mm. cold beer. I, no, look, I like the taste of beer, but a beer popsicle, no. <laughs> Okay. Well, Josh right. just likes beer flavored beer. Mm -hmm. beer exactly. Flavored beer. I do. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get some of these beer sickles, whatever they're called, and uh, give them. Coors icicles. Give them a try. Uh, you know, one more story, Christy. Oh, okay. A Florida woman was arrested in connection with a domestic attack with an avocado. Oh. Court records indicate the 39-year-old Miss Carlene. Byswanger allegedly <laughs> what a lovely name for <laughs> through an avocado. We by swanger <laughs> eating chocolate pie. Why is it always in Florida? Allegedly threw an avocado at her 68 year old boyfriend, hitting him in the face and injuring his right Take eye. That. Now what you got to say? <laughs> He's 68. She's 39. Come on. The woman's also accused of throwing. A hanging rod that hit the victim in the arm. A hanging rod. <laughs> well, this woman's a man. Uh, I guess for their curtains, I, I would I assume. Suppose. Or that's or where they put shower. the bodies that they collect from hitchhikers. They put, what, put her up on the hanging rod.
wrong. <laughs> a St. Petersburg police officer noted in the arrest affidavit, the suspect and the victim had been living together for about a year and have been engaging in consensual sexual intercourse. Ooh. That's a lot of detail. But why is that? Uh, is this Mostly a, from the... <laughs> <laughs> They just added that? <laughs> the woman was arrested once again. For Why th- didn't they add that? Holy hell. For battering a victim aged 65 or older, which is a felony that in Florida. Right. Yeah. You're right, Christy. This, all this stuff happens in the same area. Who was St. Petersburg, the patron saint of dirt bags? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but an avocado. Yeah. Well, if guac's involved, whatever the sentence is, they'll be, it'll be extra. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, guacamole is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Although the, the evidence will have spoiled in two days. Um, well, hmm. So this guy got hit. Is he okay? He was injured in the right eye. Oh, I'm so assuming. he's not dead because then he would have been <laughs> avocado toast. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> what a pitfall. Oh, God for Greg Hahn Like father, like son. <laughs> we got him, didn't we, Daddy? We got him. <laughs> Did you make those avocado batteries in high school? What? No. No. You take no. an avocado and put those things in it? No, I saw potatoes. We, potato, we yeah. Potatoes. Oh, no wonder yeah. mine didn't work. <laughs> All these, all these years, I thought they were cool. we used avocado. Yes, yeah, uh, right, right now, uh, we're, Joe. Good luck with the podcast. Thank you. Uh, and uh, once again, um, you can uh, find that wherever you find your podcast. Of course, right. It's, it's, it, the, wherever finer podcasts. There we go. Yeah. Stacked. Yeah. Stacking Benjamins is the name of that podcast. I'd like to stack some steaks. You want to tell me more about Omaha steaks, Joe? I would be proud to. Spring is in the air. And that can only mean one thing spring. Oh, no, they didn't want me to sing the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So, now's the perfect time to discover something new. Where, Josh? Where, Where Josh? OmahaSteaks.com. Yeah. That's right. The steak experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to spring into something delicious with their semi-annual sale. You guys go semi or semi? Semi. Semi. Like, semi. With 50% semi. off site-wide. <laughs> That's half off everything, folks. You can grab all your favorites, like those perfectly aged tender steaks, ocean fresh seafood, juicy burgers, incredible air-chilled chicken, and decadent desserts. Plus, when you go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code BTS at checkout, you'll get an additional $30 off your order. Let me tell you about these perfectly aged tender steaks, particularly the fillets. Mm. I love them. I set them on a plate, a little S&P, that's right, salt and pepper, let them come to room temp, Mm. then grill them up. Oh, my gosh. Just delicious. You're going to love the flavor, and your family will love you for getting them Omaha Steaks. It's the perfect way to get fired up and spring into something special with the quality and convenience of Omaha Steaks. That cooler comes right to your door. It's all there. You're ready to go. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com, use code BTS at checkout, take advantage of this deal. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship. Your order is going to come to you right away, but you want to hurry, because that 50% off site-wide thing, only happening for a limited time. Don't miss your chance. It's your chance to save and your chance to enjoy some wonderful food. That's omahasteaks.com, code BTS at checkout, get an additional $30 off when you shop their semi-annual sale today. Minimum order may be required, Tom, but you know that's not a problem. You're going to want it all. Oh, that's right. Don't forget the lasagna. It's it's extra tasty. Mm-hmm. When we come back, uh, we're going to say goodbye to uh, Joe Saul See, he, see, I was thinking you could change your name. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think if it's easier, even just do it. Just, because you yeah. could become Joe Saul Say Hey, and you'd be the Say Hey Kid. Well, it's that's, ta- that's, that's taken though. Mm-hmm. He could be my new agent. That's that's see, that's that's Willie Mays' nickname, so it's a little more. Uh, Willie Mays. Oh, Carant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's oh, really? <laughs> yeah, as fresh as today's news. <laughs> yes. Willie Mays. You got any Jack Benny stories you could share? Oh. <laughs> when we come back, it'll be sexy time with Allie Breen. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time (laughs) if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom News Update. Legislation to legalize recreational marijuana for adults in Minnesota underwent a major rewrite yesterday with the addition of new language to regulate and protect the state's industry in low-potency edibles and drinkables. 
low-potency products containing THC derived from industrial hemp instead of full-strength cannabis have been legal in Minnesota since last year. Good news for the more than 8 million Americans who use insulin. Another major maker has promised steep price cuts as pressure grows on drug makers and insurers trim the cost of medication that millions of us need to survive. Nova Nordisk says it will slash some of the U.S. insulin prices up to 75 percent next year. That announcement comes two weeks after rival Eli Lilly said it will drop some of its prices by 70 percent or more later this year. And Facebook parent Meta is slashing 10,000 jobs, about as many as the social media company announced late last year in its first round of cuts. Uncertainty about the global economy continues to hit the technology sector particularly hard. CEO Mark Zuckerberg calls the cuts tough, but says there's no way around it. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. We got some extra from the Bob and Tom Show. Are you a computer geek? No, no. I see. I didn't grow up with computers. That's why children have the advantages. They slip out the womb. They're born with a password. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you look yeah. at the ultrasound, you see the sex of the childhood's internet provider is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're, you're an email guy then. Oh, no, no. Well, I check my email. I never get real emails. They're all junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a junk box, and the junk box is like, look, we don't even have time to sort out this stuff. And it's all that burn DVDs, lose weight, consolidate debt, and then be like young teen sluts, whores, <laughs> Thousands of it. And then I got a weird one in the middle that says, do you need a birdhouse? <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I actually got that. I'm like, who's the birdhouse guy? And then every day I get this email. Jim, do you want to enlarge your penis? Yep. And I, and how did I get on the small willy email list? That is the real thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. When you were little, did you think Pontius <laughs> Pilate drove an airplane? No, I did not. Uh, okay, it would be <laughs> flu. <laughs> And yes, Stroke an airplane. You could always tell who he is at the Last Supper because he's got that little aviator thing with the straps and the gun. Just pilot was not at the Last, 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 last Supper. supper. And you want to teach us you. about yeah. this? Yeah. Boy, <laughs> why did he miss stay, it? Stay in church. How did he miss it? He wasn't invited. He sent someone instead. <laughs> he was on the other team. Yeah. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom. 24-7. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Here's truly Artie Whiskey, frontier golfer with another true tale from the Old West. Really? As you know, I'm quite the avid golfer. I go out just about every day and play 18. One afternoon, I decided to head on home after nine holes. Well, much to my surprise, I mosey up to my house and I see another buggy in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Well... I gotta sneak in the house and I find my wife in bed with another fella. I was rather upset. I can see that. I grabbed the guy, got him in a headlock, dragged him down into the garage, grabbed him by the manhood, stuck it in a vice, and squeezed it real tight. Uh huh. He started screaming, Oh, Artie, you're not gonna cut it off, are you? I said, No, you are. I'm gonna set the garage on fire. <laughs> 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 Bob and Tom 24 7. There was this bass player. <laughs> and he was uh, sitting in a, in a bar just getting really, really drunk. He, sure. was, he was mad at the world. Uh -huh. yeah. He had been fired from his uh, latest job. Mad at everyone. Just angry, drinking. So he leaves the bar. He's very, very drunk. He's walking down the street. And across the street is a nun walking the other direction. Mm hmm. Well, bass player runs across the street, knocks her down, and just starts kicking her and hitting her oh and going gosh. crazy. A drunk bass player. A drunk bass player. <laughs> and he looks down and says, you're not so tough now, are you, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get mail. <laughs> That's it for our show. Bass Talk. Comedian Steve Alton. Uh, it's the technology. What we can do today, we can put a man on the moon, we can send cameras out to Saturn, take pictures, send them back, computers. You know, we, we still can't make a coffee maker that doesn't go... <laughs> Hell, that 
that wakes me up. I don't really need that coffee now, thanks. I'm awake and irritable. I got one of those cordless phones. Yeah. And yeah. Those, those are cool. Mm -hmm. You walk around the house, be outside. You be in the bathroom now and be on the phone. This is great. <laughs> that noise? Uh, I'm making coffee right now. <laughs> Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. Hello, Josh Arnold. Are you and me? We come from the world. Doesn't that kind of sound like this? Yeah. Jessica mm -hmm. Alsman is here. Hey. There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> hey. There's Willie Griswold. I like the Josh. Yeah. I'm right. Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Once again, the Chicksters at theorangeinsoles.com sports desk. Um, we're going to hook up with uh, comedian Allie ah! Breen. Oh, Fresh from her appearance um, on the TV, Greg Looking Gutfeld, the other day. I've, I got a yes. bunch of really nice letters about how great you did on the show. I did not see it, but I heard you did a great job. Oh, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I heard a lot of nice things from the fans. So thanks for watching, everyone. Cool. Now, I've got to do a quick yeah. apology. Quick apology before we get to you. I'm so sorry, Allie. Um, apparently yesterday on the show, there was a little slip of the tongue on my part. Uh, it involved a monkey. Uh, <laughs> I want to say, Stephen, I'm glad you're still alive. Uh, Stephen uh, was driving a, a large vehicle, uh, uh, plowing snow on an interstate at the time. And um, he... Uh, Apparently, what I said caused him a, quite a belly laugh, and he almost took the large truck off the road. Oh, no. Uh, he barely kept it. Uh, you're welcome, Stephen. I'm it was very funny to see. We have it on YouTube. Just the entire room losing their minds when it happened. It was just a slip of the tongue. I'm sorry. No, but now, I know that Allie Breen is a professional, and uh, she appears on television a lot. She appears on nightclubs, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and she is, of course, a comedian. But, Ali, as I've often said, even Tiger Woods takes golf lessons. It's time now for your uh, lesson in comedy with, uh, with our own Ace Cosby. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Mm. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Ali, if you ever want to quit drinking, eat Twizzlers. Now, really? now they're not alcohol, but they're licorice. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. Yes, and it was brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Spring into something delicious with the... I'm going to get this right to this because we have a, a guest on the phone. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. I hate you know what I like to do is wait and uh, mash two features together. That's what I like to do. Spring into something delicious Why with not? the Omaha Steaks semi-annual sale. Save up to 50% off site-wide. Plus, when you use code BTS at checkout... You'll get an additional $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. Thank you, Omaha Steaks. <laughs> now, can we please talk to Allie, who has prepared something? I, well, I just was going to say that I thought you jumped into it uh, due to the dearth of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh, I know. It's uh, Hi, Allie. Uh, you can reach Allie, of course, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, and uh, tell us about your love life, your love troubles, because here on Sexy Time, we like to help out. What have you got, Allie? All right. Dear Allie, I just found out the girl I'm dating used to do porn. I actually think it's pretty hot, but I'm worried about if we get serious and my family finds out. Should I break this off before it gets there? I have two kids under the age of 10. They will find out. that There's no doubt. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen. They will absolutely find out. So you just have to decide if you like her more than you worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Could be very awkward. You know, yeah, Thanksgiving when your dad says, you know, I want to thank you. I <laughs> I saw a backdoor ballroom and learned a couple things. <laughs> now, hang on a second. Let's not just speed right by backdoor ballroom. Yeah, that was a movie. <laughs> I like yeah. that title very much. I just made that up. I feel like we need some more info because there's a chance she went by a stage name, so to speak. So it, it does not matter. Uh, they will, you know what I mean? It's, they They'll will find out. Every, How do you find out? It takes one person. Every porn star that I've ever heard on uh, the many, many porn podcasts I listen to <laughs> have said the biggest thing is uh, you, people will find out even if you've only done one scene. Well, it's that contemporary um, uh, labial uh, uh, recognition. Uh, That's right. <laughs> it's out there. Uh, software. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Labiola <laughs> sounds like an Italian appetizer. Yeah. Do you like, like the labiola? Sounds delicious. <laughs> so, yeah, just decide, if you, just decide mm -hmm. if you liked her, if you like her enough. Yeah. 
Also, with OnlyFans, 90% of the population is doing porn now, so I don't know that it's going to matter that much oh, in a couple of years. 90%, that's pretty high. It's up there. Quite honestly, it shouldn't matter, but it will to some. Yeah. So. Sure. Yeah. I, I My question would be, has he watched any of the porn? Yeah, I wonder if he was familiar now with porn before. Yeah, I guarantee you, as now. You well, think, do yeah. you think? So you think exactly. he, so he, well, because so, he said it was hot, so... Okay. Do you think they watch it yeah. together? Yeah, yeah, these are all good uh, questions. I don't know. It would, be, it would be very weird. Honey, what was your motivation here in this scene? <laughs> well, you know, dear. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just look at that, wouldn't yeah, yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't you be motivated? <laughs> just the yeah, DVD. I suppose it matters how you find out. If she told him or if he was just watching and was like, is that my girlfriend? It sounds like that she told him. It's very different. Yeah. Would you be intimidated by that, though? No, no. Okay. Well, some guys would, I think. I've met a handful of them, and I don't, I'm not, I haven't been intimidated because they're just people who do a job. You know what? Compared to most girls, it sounds like she was open and honest up front it about does, it. Yeah. yeah. So she's probably the least crazy person you're ever going to find and date. <laughs> you know, and, and she may also be the cleanest person. There's a, That's a, true. I think there's a giant misnomer out there that these girls are dirty and filthy and probably disease ridden. No, they can't. Awesome. Be. It explains why she named her cat Fluffer. <laughs> that is, it does explain that. You're right. They can't be. They wouldn't be working. Yeah, exactly. Right. They're tested yeah. all the time. Uh, an interesting story. Well, thank you. Uh, Allie, what else we got? Dear Allie, you guys said the other week that spontaneous sex is no better than planned sex, and I have to disagree. My husband and I have sex every Sunday, <laughs> and that is it. So it's planned and mechanical. It's been our pattern for years. I'm tempted to try to spontaneously go for it midweek sometimes, but I'm afraid he's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Should I try it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Try it. Yes. You're I just asking for trouble. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> He'll be now, so and, pleasantly and, surprised. In our defense, by the way, that was a, a survey. Yeah. Uh, an ex extensive survey True. that was done that indicated, although it, it would seem... To be hotter, it really to be wasn't. hotter, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah this is, is an odd situation. Try, try, give it a shot. Now, I would say go into it with zero expectations. That way, if if you go in thinking, oh, he's going to love this surprise, maybe he's tired. We don't know what the guy does for a living and what time you're. You know, there are th other things. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you're doing it at the right spot. Like you don't want to do it like you know during a PTA meeting when you're. You know, well, of course. The first couple of rows. <laughs> Tom, why are you such a prude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your life. Like yeah. Come on. Maybe they'll find their kink. <laughs> Oh, I think... Yeah, that's the other thing. Does, does she dress it up? If you're going to spontaneously go for it and you have it before, do you do lingerie or is the spontaneity just Overrated. enough? Overrated. Oh, yeah, I think the zone. spontaneity oh. is enough. You know what? An easy way to do it uh, when he's taking a shower, whether it's in the morning or at night, just join him and go from there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He's got to shower sometime, hopefully. Yeah, if he's not showering, yeah, you know well, why If he's it. not showering, <laughs> except for Saturday nights, yeah. you, know why, you know why the activity's confined right. to Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Don't join him in the shower. Why? Why Just we all. Every woman thinks that showering together is this fun, cool thing. It's miserable for both parties. I don't agree with Someone's that. Someone's always cold. You know, exa exactly, Pat. Fine, Someone is always cold. And they are a gentleman for it. Thank you. <laughs> and they protect us yep. from the cold walls. So. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> boy, the soap sure is slippery. Oops, dropped it. And how? <laughs> well, maybe he's already done what he needs yeah, to do. Yeah, as long as it's not there. every shower. If it's every shower, that would be annoying because you actually are trying to get clean. But if it's once in a while, it's kind of hot. Yeah, well, you're right. You know, it, like it, washing it is, is kind of hot. Hair I do like that stuff. Okay, yeah. so and I'm like rubbing it. on soapy boobs. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I sing a car wash song and yeah. I'm just rubbing on them. It's a real, I put a, I put an Elmo hanging in the corner of the shower. It's I, a real good time. I, work I do take it. Fine. Car wash. No, uh, it can be hot. I take. Allie, it. I don't want to delve into your personal life, but um, too late for that. Now. Do you uh, are, do you like uh, music? When in uh, moments of intimacy, do you have like a stereo or a, a do you have, do you have, uh, nice. do you have Alexa? Do you say Alexa play car wash as Willie likes? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ever think to, but it is nice when you have music going. It, it just happens to be that sometimes music is going. I never plan it. Uh, right, let me give you a recommendation. Yeah, uh, next time you're 
just about there. Ask uh, Alexa to play Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, this gets me off. <laughs> many people die. Oh, I'm sorry. Many, many people die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the church bell chimes is 29 times. Uh, oh, please. Uh, Allie Breen Talks is our guest. Touch my Thank you. I'm sorry I stepped in your very fine joke. Water's Touches cool. Gitchy Gumi. Oh. Um, oh, once again, you can reach Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on various social media platforms with your questions. What else have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I went on a Tinder date with a girl who showed up drunk and an hour late. When I called her out, she said she's five years sober, but she literally had a purple wine mouth. Oh, no. We actually had a nice time, but I'm worried about moving forward with this oh, girl. God. What would you do? <laughs> Here's the thing. If, you, if you're on a Tinder date and she shows up drunk and an hour late and you go, hey, what the hell? She should just go, yeah, this is a Tinder date. <laughs> what? <laughs> what You're like, you showed up at all. <laughs> well, but I think it's a social compact. Well, I you've made an agreement to show up at a certain time. <laughs> and you've already know she's a liar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, <laughs> a, and a drunk. Yeah. So you know what you're getting, I guess. Wow. Yeah, if you're going to lie about being drunk, why would you drink red wine? That's the dumbest drink <laughs> yeah. you could possibly do. Drink right? vodka. Nobody knows you're drunk exactly. with vodka. Mm -hmm. There you go. Know. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, run yeah. as fast as you can. In all the movies, they don't hide wine bottles. They hide, hide vodka bottles. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's, we got time for one more letter, Allie. Dear Allie, my boyfriend sends me gifts, and then if I don't immediately send him a picture of me wearing the gift, he tells me it was a waste of money and to send it back. Sounds oh. like a fun I guy. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but it doesn't seem like no. nice behavior. Shouldn't I be able to wear and enjoy his gifts the way I want to without getting yelled at or yes. having to worry about having to of, send them back? Of course. What should of I do? course. He's crazy yes. and controlling. Get out. Oh, He's my being, God. Uh, He's a little unreasonable yeah. here when it comes to the gift. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. It depends what the gift is That's also. What do you mean? Well, well if well. she opens it at the office and it's a pair of star-spangled crotchless panties, <laughs> you, you, you gotta, and he wants an immediate picture. Must have been Fourth of July. <laughs> give him, give him a little, give her a little window of time. To... What do you mean you were? That's maybe what she should do. Start taking a picture wherever she is with the gift on. If it's some little lingerie thing, she'd be out on the street. Like, like, you like it? Huh? huh? How come you're not wearing those star-spangled crotchless panties? <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to my father's funeral. <laughs> he was a veteran. I want to honor him. I know, but you standing over the casket knowing you have those on, it'd be so hot. Oh. You know what yeah. you could do that'll make him upset is like just lay them over your head like a hat, be like, here it is, it's on. And he'll be like, that's not what I meant. It's right kind of fun. Yeah. Another reasonable uh, <laughs> answer for all. I think we can. I think reasonable we can, from him to even ask for it. We can squeeze in one more letter, Allie. Let's go. What do you got? <laughs> Dear Allie, my husband makes a lot hey, of Allie, dirty jokes. I, no Allie, one, no sorry. one would blame you if you never called. Us. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't say, yeah, yeah. If you screamed <laughs> "f you" and "hug no one. You don't need this. Allie is no. far too sweet. You don't need this. I'm at just all. trying to give her a little I like more. I these air left time. turns. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Dear Allie, my husband makes a lot of dirty jokes in front of company, and he thinks he's killing. But I can see that he's making people <laughs> he uncomfortable. Thinks, he thinks he's killing. <laughs> I love these. Hey, oh, he's killing. He's <laughs> they love it, and I'm being uptight. I know that's not the case. What should I do? Lighten up, you hooer. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, this sounds like something you should handle. <laughs> you, you think I'm one of these guys? No. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No, I don't, but I think you've run across I, people like this, and uh, you might know. I heard one. one the other day, so this guy comes up with a duck under his arm. <laughs> hey, Grandma, you listening? All right. All right. Man, I don't know what to do with that. I had a like dream I had one. two vaginas, Grandma. Listen. That is a tough one. You can't control him. Let him do what he wants to do, and then people can judge him, mm -hmm. and they won't judge you. And never give him any pity laughs. Just let him die. Oh, let yeah. him sit out there in Dead the dryness. Oh, no, that's awkward. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what you can stop. do. I honestly, those guys are unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> they think they're funny in their own right. mind. I mean, he thinks That's he's true. Killing what he killing is. It. And then on the way home, he's going, I don't understand. Your dad seems awfully uptight. <laughs> yeah. Why was your grandma crying? <laughs> he didn't like the, the joke about you not walking right for a week. <laughs> I don't get it. Man.
<laughs> Over there it is. Don't Allie. Like I gave it to your grandma from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, I'm sorry. What have you got coming up, Allie? Uh, um, I'm actually, I'm in the city at Shiva Speakeasy this week, and then I have a show April 1st at Bonkers in Orlando. All right. All right. So I'll get the details for that, yeah. Okay, any more TV appearances? I uh, know you've been doing uh, Kennedy and Gutfeld and... Yeah, not on the books, but there should be some coming up soon, hopefully. Okay, well, let us know. We appreciate it very much. A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E, and that's Allie Breen. Thank you very much. Have a good week, guys. Bye, Allie. Thank Thank you. you. Now, um, the Bob and Tom Show right now, sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, This is all about therapy and about the fact that BetterHelp has hooked up more than a million people with licensed therapists. And by the way, the therapy is all done online. It's a really interesting idea, and it's really taking off because um, it, it's important to understand that asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's about exploring your own life and learning more about yourself as a lifelong process. And it can be a little confusing, especially lately, all this stuff coming at us. Uh, so maybe a therapy would work for you and help you out. Well, check it out by going to BetterHelp dot com slash bt show that'll knock 10 percent off your first month how does it work well first you fill out a brief questionnaire you'll get matched with a licensed therapist and by the way you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge and it's as i said all done online it can be done texting back and forth with the therapist or speaking to one or having one on video whatever works for you and that's part of the beauty of it because it's done online it's extraordinarily convenient and uh, a better value get the details once again betterhelp.com slash bt show that'll knock 10% off your first month. It's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash B-T show. When we come back, we're going to educate ourselves and you in the world of history. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Let's, let's get a song out of Mr. Yes. Mr. Hay. Yeah. Colin Hay is our guest. What do you feel like playing, Colin? Uh, something I know. Okay. Yes. Well, that'd be good. I know most of my songs. <laughs> this is an old song which I like. I'll just play it, eh? All How right. How about that? I can get to sleep. I think about the implications of diving in too deep. Possibly the complications, especially at night. I worry over situations. I know we'll be all right. Perhaps it's just imagination. Day after day, it reappears. Night after night, my heart beats. Shows the fear go appear and fade away. Along between the sheets only brings exasperation. It's time to walk the streets, smell the desperation. There's pretty lights And though there's little variation It nullifies the night From overkill Day after day reappears Night after night my heartbeat Shows the fear to 
Wow. <laughs> Colin Hay. <laughs> so that night, they hit an iceberg, and the ship goes down. The magician wakes up floating on a piece of driftwood, and, and the parrot is sitting on the end of the driftwood, and they stare at each other for two days and don't say a word. Mm -hmm. They just look at each other all mad. Finally, the bird goes, I give. Where's the boat? <laughs> 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 this is Bob and Tom 24 7. All of your listeners saw them. You couldn't miss them. Of course, I'm talking about the Des Moines septuplets. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I know I can't be the only person that was secretly thinking, geez, I hope these kids don't get their mother's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's got a smile like Count Chocula. <laughs> Tom, she could chew through coaxial cable. <laughs> okay. Take her four hours to eat an ear of corn, I'm telling you. Oh, and believe man. me, Bob, I am delighted people donated baby food and diapers. I'm just hoping a dentist steps up to the plate. Well, we're going to take fertility drugs. My God. And we're going to keep all seven because it's God's will. Bull crap. God's will was for you to have zero. You screwed it up. Stocky Economopolis joins us on the telephone. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. That's something you hear a lot, sure. right? Uh -huh. Now, it's definitely true, but if you're at a meeting for bulimics, you just have no idea when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no man is an island. That's a phrase you hear. Sure. Uh, what if you drop Michael Moore into a shallow lake? That may be. <laughs> Even mocking your liberal brethren. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I admire you for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Try not to put your foot in your mouth. Mm. Unless you're a stripper and it's part of your show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> where, where are you hanging out? <laughs> the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I guess, you know, if you're born without a vagina. <laughs> Greg Hahn is our guest. I went out with this one girl. Can I say this? Yeah. Sure. Get a load of this. I'm on a date. I was out with this girl, right? Here's what she says. It's true. She says, oh, I did something she didn't like. She goes, oh, you just lost some points. <laughs> oh, there's points involved. <laughs> That's a point system that the women have. It's a point system. Men, we don't know what's going on. All we know is it involves points, and all of a sudden, we're down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really? How many did I start out with? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. You're just going to lose more points. We'll transfer my account to your younger sister. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're... Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Chrissy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, chick. How's it going over there? Pretty good. How about you? Oh, not too bad. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. Jessica Alsman is here. Hello, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Once again, Chick McGee reporting from the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. I bring this up because it's time for you to get into bracketology. Fill out your special bracket for the uh, Bob and Tom Show Basketball Mayhem Contest brought to you by Orange Insoles. We, uh, I got my four teams yeah, what'd you uh, get? just moments ago. I'm not going to share them until everybody gets their teams. Okay. But I, I took my four teams and I shut my mouth and said thank you is what I did. This, is, do, our, this is in our office pool. You can join the big pool, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, by going to bobandtom.com. Slash contest. You know we should do it by seeding and not conference. You know that. Every year, Dean you gets mean, all the no, number one no, seeds. No, you mean, uh, it's not, we're not using the right terms. It's uh, Quadrant or? by a South, Midwest, West. Yeah, yeah by that. We should yeah. not do it by, it should I be. I think that is. There's one team, There's. Uh, they're all separated, and you get one from each uh we should each get Section. one number one to number two seed. No. Everybody gets one, three to five. I'm well, not going to talk. No, there's only there's only four number one seeds. You know, you have no interest in having fun with this. So let's there's move no, on. There's What's no. next? 
There's but it wouldn't be four fair. There's only seeds. four. No, but we can get ones. Okay, fine. Let Dean get all the. He can get <laughs> IU and Purdue. He can get all the one through the fours, well. and I'll just chill with Creighton and damn Montana State. Dean, <laughs> Dean is a lucky man. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll um, review this later. Huh? Um, what I was trying to say is, I if you go like to BobandTom.com/slash/contest, you could enter to win, and we have a really cool special side contest coming up next week. I'm not going to give you too much of a hint. Dribble, dribble. I uh, got a nice note about. Remember we. Had uh, Mr. William Shatner on, absolutely and he was talking about his uh, tour. Got a nice note uh, from Scott, who had a great time seeing a packed hall with Mr. Shatner, answering serious questions about lots of things in life, Very as cool. well as stuff about his movies. Uh, so, if you get a chance to see that uh, tour with Mr. Shatner, highly recommended. I'd ask him, "Hey, can I get your teleporter? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you teleport me home and then teleport me back?" Uh, we've got some pizza emails we're going to no. get to involving Ace Cosby, but right now it's time to get into the series. Time now for today in history. <laughs> Here's Tom. Tom? Ides of March, of course, yep. the 15th. Yeah. And we we Never found take. out, I asked the question this morning, are there other Ides? You never hear about the Ides of April or... There sure are. The some Ides of them are on the 15th and the others are on the 13th. 13th, yeah. Might yeah. be a good title for a movie. The Ides of April. That could, that could be a porno. Wouldn't it? She's like some woman named April. and. Wouldn't it just be the Ide? Why would it be the Ides? It's a fair question, Christy. Because it's one day. Yeah, I, I don't know. What about the sides of July? <laughs> and it's just all the sides you'd have at a 4th of July barbecue. Potato salad. They got your mac and macaroni cheese. Macaroni salad. That's not bad. Baked beans. That's very good. That's pretty fun. <laughs> huh? How about that? Or we could do the sides of March for this month. I love that, Willie. Yeah. yeah. Broccoli, Thank broccoli you. salad with the sweet mayonnaise <laughs> no, and, the, and the raisins. No. Oh, no. man. Get that out of here. <laughs> so good. <laughs> broccoli <laughs> salad. Get yeah, out. You're wrong. So they leave. It'd make you fart all <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Josh, Sorry. you're yelling at chicken broccoli. about broccoli salad. That's Get it out of here! I itch, man. That's fun. Some uh, chef has to develop a way to keep the broccoli. I was just having those, those broccolini things. Yes, I don't like broccolini. I love it, but it gets cold so fast. No, very it's fast. Always very, very You need fast. to have like a little lamp on the side of your, Wilty. like a little heat thing that would that would click onto what? your plate. You always want to cook the broccoli last when yep. you're making it. But I mean, yeah. still, yeah. even while you're eating, unless you're eating fast. No, no you're no. right. You're right. Have you ever seen those those book lights? You clip it on the sure. book so you can read at night. Yeah. I don't want to Here's spoil. my idea. Same thing, but it's a heat lamp. Mm -hmm. You clip it on the side of your plate. It keeps your broccoli warm. Thank you. I don't want to spoil. Christmas, <laughs> but you got to be grounded when you use it. Okay, that's okay. all I'm saying. This should, uh -huh. Maybe we should take this to Shark Tank. The broccoli light. No, this is a conversation you should be having with the chef at the old folks' home. We're putting you into <laughs> because this is so boring on air. Sorry, uh, Julius Caesar, 44 B.C., stabbed to death. Hence yeah. the Ides of March. What's B.C. stabbed? Did you ever see that? Did you ever see that commercial where he gets stabbed and his robes all bloody and it's the tides of March oh, and they clean funny. it off with a little. <laughs> is this a real commercial? <laughs> no. <laughs> it should be. I was. Tide. Know. It gets out blood. You're not the Messiah, <laughs> but you need tide. <laughs> uh, the premiere of uh, The Godfather, 1972. Yeah, it was. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, this is a bad one. Here, here's a happy one. Uh, in 270, the birth of Saint Nicholas. Right. <laughs> Seriously, that's mm -hmm. something. Is, is that Santa Claus? The same mm -hmm. guy? It depends. Yeah. Uh, he did a lot of things for kids, I guess. Okay. Is, there, is, is Santa, is St. Nick from the North Pole a different dude? So I don't, I don't really know. He's Saint Saint Santa, Santa, Santa was Saint developed Nick. by a marketing company, no, wasn't he? No, St. Nick uh, kept Coca book in uh, Joliet for yeah. uh, 30 years. And St. Nicholas. <laughs> this says he was a bishop known as Nicholas the Wonder Worker. You want to put a bet yeah. on the Bears game, you, you call St. Nick. Yeah, that's to me. <laughs> Think Nick will help you out. There we go. Uh, 1767. Happy birthday, Andrew Jackson. Okay. Well, he replaced happened? Grover Cleveland in the 20 when Bottom of the barrel. In 1928. Nobody cares about dead presidents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things we learned today. Tom is helping his girls at home, his daughters, fill out their basketball brackets and attempting to convey the concept of the busted bracket. <laughs> yeah, it's going to come they soon. They don't oh, care gosh. for this. Uh, by the way, the Wouldn't odds... Wouldn't it be something if they just clean house <laughs> the odds of a perfect bracket mathematically are one in nine quintillion Woo. Oh, i went to a quintillion once the girls yeah. were all dressed up mm -hmm. spring quintillion <laughs> yeah it was nice <laughs> formerly it was quimtillion uh, oh nice <laughs> you do not want to miss that party mm -hmm. tom hates throw rugs accidents happen he's terrified of his house <laughs> 
The rugs will slip when the dogs hit the throw rugs. Uh, Tom can't understand why the dogs just don't get it. Do you want me to bring you in some rug gripper things that you can put those? No, then, All then, right. then they have to, no. That's it. Bring me in a giant shredder. Um, happy birthday, Phil Lesh, the great bass player from The Grateful oh. Dead. And of course, happy birthday, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Well, RBG. Almost as powerful as uh, Judge Bar- Judy. Powerful. Uh, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel.